Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Gehenna Valley. I am, of course, here. Brian, you, you already know my name because we have those fun slides now before we start talking. Are those fun? Don't you love them? I love them because I don't have to update them every week. They're pretty good for a while, uh, which makes my life fantastic and awesome. Um, it's Monday. Uh, we're live. We are live. Thank you uh, for recognizing that. Hello. We say hi as well. Back. We say hi back to you, chat. Um, we're very excited. I want to let you know I got a hot tip here. I got a hot tip here from our producers. Where'd it go? Uh, last week, we raised $117 for the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund. Uh, so I really appreciate everybody who was able to donate last week. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll tell you all about that other stuff later. Uh, but I think it's worth mentioning early now that uh, Friday is the start of the Onyx Path Con where we uh, at Gehenna Games are working with OPP to do our own little virtual con. You heard me announce that last week. Well, guess what? It's on Friday. It's, this is how quickly time moves. Uh, literally, every second is a second. Like, it's just crazy. Um, forget about Sega Genesis time. We're in real time, and it just moves. Wait, you never heard of Sega Genesis? You don't remember? Uh, I'm, I might be dating myself. Ravnos is... Not Ravnos, I'm sorry. Blah. Rob is probably the only person who got that reference. Uh, you, are you old enough Rude? for Sega Genesis yeah. time? Yes. Okay, you seemed confused. I don't, you made a face at me. I don't know. I mean, I really that has nothing to do with the Sega Genesis. The Abacus was a good time. No! <laughs> The Sega the, the Abacus, the math. Toy? We no, we used to talk about Sega time because in every Atari. Sega game that had a clock, it was never like accurate to real Isn't time. Atari from the Stilo Green song. Oh my gosh! All right, we have to move forward. We're just gonna keep more. Yeah. This is bad. This is bad. So uh, let's let's get right into things. I don't think I have any hot uh, MC tips this week, but I do have a, a very hot list of things that happened last time on Gehenna Valley. Wolf brings Bridget home. He wants to go in. Bridget tells him to go the fuck home. She tells her mom that Karina ruined cheerleading. Wolf goes to grounds for coffee and Mike's, Mike's and makes polite talk with Dixie about loneliness and things. He gets chastised by Corey's dad, Itor. That's how we say that name, right? Itor? Yeah. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, Karina visits Donovan and discusses how Bridget might be eldritch influenced. Karina tries to call her brother but ends up with the very judgy Tanya. Karina learns that Donovan is a vampire. Corey fights with his mom. He then goes and gets drunk in a secret shrine until he realizes that each offering slash avatar before him has died younger and younger. Dixie does a brief tarot reading for Wolf and tells him to get out. Wolf took that tarot card, which is really rude. Uh, that's a person. That was clearly a personal judgment on Wolf. He didn't know. He was. He's too dumb. <laughs> Bridget invites Wolf, Chase, and Tabitha to the gazebo tonight. Wolf gets a sexy pick for extra motivation. Corey goes to Donovan's. In his distraught state, he fails to turn Donovan on, but gets some much-needed talking time in. Donovan gets a mysterious text that says. You know you can just talk to me, right? Corey tells Donovan about his relationship to Castile, or with Castile, that you'd probably say. Who proves these? No one. Karina talks to King Jack about Castile. Wolf meets Chase and Tabitha at the gazebo. Bridget shows up naked with a rabbit. See, that's not accurate. Uh, you were wearing, I believe, a nightgown that was just open. And then I shrugged it off. That's right. So... You know, okay, we're getting True some peace. some high. Whoa, whoa! Um, <laughs> Corey sends the mental image of a flipped off finger to Castile. Tanya wakes up Karina to tell her that Castile is Zeus. 
All right, we got some reminders. Reminder, start with gazebo. I remember that. Time for cat later. I remembered that, too. And have Corey declare his level up. That uh, is big. We're going to start with that instead of the gazebo. Corey, the time is now. Yes. What do you, what do you, how are you going to level up, Corey? So I will be taking a move from another skin. Okay, which skin from is From the it? hollow skin. Nice. It's called a blank canvas. Okay. An action that embodies one of your conditions, allowing that condition to alter your sense of self. Cross it off and add one to your roll. I like it. Cool. Everyone cool with that out there in in Twitch land? That's where you are, unless you're watching this on YouTube later. Um, or if you're joining us for one of our sporadic watch parties. Wherever you are, just just nod wherever you are and whenever you are. <laughs> Let me know that you're cool with that. Thank you. Thank you, everyone but Ashley, who refuses to nod. Um... <laughs> All right, apparently we're going to have a good night. Um, apparently I'm in another mood. If this keeps up, it's going to be like if I feel not in a mood, then I'm going to have to say I'm in a mood because we've got a streak going. All right. Anyway, where are we? We did that. Um, are we going to jump straight to the gazebo? It seems awfully quick. Yeah, let's go to the gazebo. Let's remind ourselves who's in the gazebo. We got Bridget in the... Oh, no, we have to do our, our check-in. What? Really Go ahead. Quick. Sorry. Uh, after yes. Close is saying they can't hear me. Is this any better? We can or, all hear you. Yeah, you were quiet earlier, <laughs> but you seem back now. When you okay, were discussing so. your level up, you seemed very quiet for whatever Okay, reason. I just upped my gain and stuff, so hopefully this is better. Sorry at the close. Yeah. Very low. Well, I don't know at the close. You seem louder than normal to me, because I know we've been Hello. working on that. Um, Hello. Hello, you. We'll just keep working on it, all right? I'm going to get you. Now you sound quiet. Now you sound quieter than you did a second ago. Quiet? What? I think you're, yeah. you were being quieter, though. Oh, okay. Just remember to, to enunciate and sp speak up with your. You need to yell. There you go. We're that was forward. good. Sit up straight. That's right. Brush your teeth. All right. Um, <laughs> it's your ears at the close? I don't know. Um, anyway, where? what the heck? Oh, I'm all. This, see, this feels more normal, a little bit more distracted, like. Okay, no, we're going to do the check-in, all right? All right, Bridget, you have the condition that you've had for a little while now. It's mean. I have. You've got uh, three strings on Wolf. Is that uh, what you have as well? Excellent. And one on a bunch of people. Yeah, one on a bunch of people. Uh, three out of five XPs and zero level ups. How's that sound? All right. I just don't fail rolls. Nice. All you do is win. Let's check on Karina's sheet. Oh my goodness, what's on Karina's sheet? <laughs> oh! I have art. Art? My goodness. F from at Blast Chan on Twitter. It's lovely, yes. isn't it lovely? Yes, everyone agrees. Uh, Blast Chan and several other artists on Twitter are doing a uh, fundraiser where they are doing portrait commissions like this and all of the money is being donated to Black Lives Matter. Mm. So you should go to Twitter and hit them up. Absolutely. Possibly, you know, get a commission. Yeah. Really fabulous artist. That is, I didn't, I don't think I, I realized that or I, I forgot. Either way, I'm very excited. And um, that's not the queen. This is no, the princess. Queena. Queena. What? Oh, cre oh, from last Queena. week. Oh, yes. It's still <laughs> funny, isn't it? All right. All right. Let's see here. Krina. You're demanding, is that correct? I suppose. That's what uh, someone called me. That's least. okay. Um, you've got one level up and four XP, is that correct? That is. That's dangerous. All right, cool. Taking her away. Um, you've got to uh, I, I do want to point out, since we didn't actually talk about it uh -oh. on the stream last week. What? Uh, but the when I used um, Beyond the Veil and uh, talked to my brother mm -hmm. about... Castile, yes. the hidden string that was revealed is about Castile. Oh, yes. And I have a plus one to addressing things yes. about him. We didn't, we, you're right, we or talked about that when we when we turned <laughs> the camera off, but that's what that's the, what the cat slapping Krina represented, was that coming back. Um, so now you've got the inside scoop little, little behind the scenes um, because we accidentally did it behind the scenes. <laughs> cool! Alright, Krina, with your little smirky 
lips and your knowing eyes. Let's move on to Donovan, who does not have smirky lips um, and has very shady eyes. Uh, you've got no conditions, Donovan. Comes right. Uh, you've got five strings on Corey, though. A few. Uh, three on Marissa. Three on Mauricio. Just all up in my family business. Uh, two on Rachel, two on Karina, a smattering of ones. Yep. Uh, and you've had your first level up, but you've got no XP beyond that. Sounds right. All right, cool. I like it. Let's go to Corey. Corey, uh, you got a handful of conditions here. You got friend zone, unsympathetic, conflicted, daddy issues, brats. Does that sound right? Seems accurate. Seems accurate. Great. Uh, you've got one level up, too, with no additional XPs. And a smattering of strings, but none above two. We'll work on that. Let's see if we can help you there. No, don't work on it. Spend them. How come you guys have so many strings? Spend them. Come on. Hey, I need those strings. In this economy? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Wolf! With your winking red eye, it's... Weird. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's just, it's, don't worry, don't about, worry it. about it. <laughs> you got three conditions. Bad friend, one of them, and whipped. Uh, you've got four strings on Bridget and one on Krina. Uh, it's pretty exciting. You also have one level up and zero XPs. Oh, that's a trend right now, huh? All right. It's pretty exciting. Gotta fill more rolls or something. Yeah, let's see here. There's a Trap people up. in promises, maybe. There's get XP a level for up. it. There's a level you only up. have to give me promises to get XP. Right. Oh, there you go. We gotta get Bridget that some XPs. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to the gazebo. In the gazebo, oh. we have got Tabitha, who's got no conditions. We have got Chase, who's got no conditions. We have got. Wolf, who we just talked about, and we have got Bridget, who absolutely has controlled the scene at the top. So we're going to zoom right back to that moment. It's dark. There's some, some dim lighting, you know, like garden lights or something. And uh, there is the great uh, cat drink uh, silhouette of Bridget uh, uh, looking very hot. And uh, holding a bunny. Bridget, go. Kneel. Wolf, think, what do you do? <laughs> at that, Wolf is first gonna just like real quick kind of try to slyly look over at like uh, Tabitha and Chase and see what they do. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tabitha and Chase. Uh, just immediately kneel. Uh, Tabitha seems like super thrilled about it, and Chase is just very non uh, plussed in general. Just, just like okay. what, what you do, you kneel sometimes, you know. So they seem like they know what they're doing. I mean, yeah, it, it, it like, like they're not surprised like, okay, in, in so any way. If that's what you meant by know what you're doing. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's vague, but I think at that, we'll fill. He'll go to Neil, just like, he's like, lagging a little behind, because he had that moment of just like, what? Mm -hmm. uh, and he'll go and kneel in front of Bridget. Okay. He does look quite confused. He's, he did, as you said. Bridget smiles a little bit when you do that. Um, this week... One of my most loyal followers has let me down countless times. Another new follower has slipped from my grasp. And that makes me very, very angry. And an angry, she snaps the neck. The I think Wolf will very, like, not very aud audibly, but audibly gasp. It's like, Oh shit! And he'll kind of like stiffen up. Like he, his posture goes from like confused and relaxed to stiff and like ready to do like fight or flight like at any moment. Fantastic. Um, this party 
on Saturday is going to be the culmination of everything we've tried to achieve. This shithole town and the shithole school are finally going to be ours. But none of you can let me down. And at that, she starts pulling the rabbit apart. Just like with your yep. bare hands, just uh-huh. going at it. Yep. I think at this, I assume that Chase and Tabitha are just like totally into it, like totally listening, like good little boys yeah. and girls. Yeah, Tabitha um, kind of like winces a little bit, but again, she's not surprised. It's just a little ick for her. And Chase is like actually smiles. Like he likes this part. This is the cool part. I, okay, I think we'll just kind of like noticeably like turn to look at them to see how they're reacting Mm -hmm. and then seeing that he'll turn back to look at like Bridget and be like Bridget what are you doing shut up wolf okay roll cold please okay uh that's not good that's a four oh that's fantastic xp's good xp for you four out of five xp so, uh, great news, Wolf. Um, that, that shut up is, is just not, it's not, you don't feel like you can do whatever you want with that. You have free range. Okay? And I, I have to grab my other sheet. This is the wrong sheet for shut up. Hold on. This is the sheet I need for shut up. Uh, da, 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 shut up. Okay, uh, something is going to happen, but I'm not going to get into it right now. Uh, okay. Wolf, how do you want to respond to the shut up? I think he's going to say he's still kneeling. Mm-hmm. He looks like he is like about to get up. Um, you know, he's got that. He's still got that like tenseness in his muscles that he's like about to spring into action at any moment. Uh, and he'll he'll say Bridget if there's something wrong we can we can talk through this you know so reasonable I'm just gonna glare at him and then keep moving on with what I was saying okay cool <laughs> he he just is watching for now I reach out with the blood on my fingers and run it across Chase's forehead. I'll be like, Chase, you were my first follower. The one who awoke the power in me. Chase goes, yeah! Tabitha, and I run the blood over her forehead too. You're my most loyal follower who I lifted up from nothing. Your cat. <laughs> Tabitha just just smiles. She won't. She won't. She doesn't want to interrupt the sereneness of the moment. She's so proud, though. And Wolf, my newest follower, who still needs to learn what I'm capable of. And I run the blood over his forehead. Okay, so Tybo, Wolf, Bridget goes to run blood over your forehead. You know exactly what she's doing. She just did it to two other people. What's going through your head right now? Wolf is thinking back to middle school because he knew. Well, he knew that Bridget had. Uh, uh, this is not the first time that Bridget has killed rabbits. He didn't really know the circumstances of that back then. You know, he didn't know it was like some weird ritual thing. He mm-hmm. thought it was just you know she was going through a hard time and it's a phase that you know people do things that they regret later, but. Um, <laughs> so he's thinking back to that and then he he's like very lost in his thoughts and trying to figure out what to do so that he doesn't uh, ruin like everything <laughs> and so by the time that he like even like he doesn't even decide on what to do but he's so lost in, in like his thoughts that like he, he barely well he reacts but he doesn't really have time to process what's happening before it's happening. Okay, so uh, you, even, you haven't even really had a chance to be scared. Yeah, and, oh. but I think when she goes, like, when she touches him with uh, her fingers, like, mm-hmm. he 
she would be able to tell that that he's very tense, like just by the the way that like you know as he she draws her fingers across him, you can like feel the tension. In his cool. So if you if so once she, she touches you and you tense up, um, what what kind of emotion does Wolf want to give off? If if you're tensing up, it, it's it's because you know you're trying not to do something probably. So what do you, how do you want to appear? I think he's trying to like keep keep his cool, not to use like a mechanic, but like mm -hmm. to stay calm and like stay not logical, but like mm -hmm. you know keep his mind about him instead of just getting up and running, which is kind of like his no, that's, first. No, that's like, cool. I was I was literally trying to see if we should use this mechanic or not, and it seems okay. yeah. very much like we should. So please roll cold. <laughs> Ooh, seven. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, this is totally fine. You have a choice, okay? Uh, in this moment, as Bridget starts to make the mark of blood. Uh, on you, um, you realize that Bridget is building a connection to you that's even stronger than the connection you currently have with each other. And this is one of those moments where it's going to be really hard to turn back. So you can either stay and accept that connection knowing that it's going to be really hard to break it afterwards um, and be all the closer to Bridget in the process. Or you can fight it and back, back off uh, at the very least um, and risk breaking your connection entirely to Bridget in the process. You have to choose one. I think... I think... Is this as she's, like, doing it? Or a after? As she's doing it, yes. This is a okay. freeze frame okay. moment, yes. I think, like, <laughs> as she's in the middle of it, you know, she's, like, got her hand, like, whatever, halfway across her forehead, mm -hmm. or his forehead, rather. Uh, I think Wolf is going to raise a hand to, like, grab her wrist <gasps> and, like, lean back a little bit. Okay. Oh. Like, Bridget, you have to explain what's happening. What do you think, Bridget? Wolf, Tabitha, hold him in place. Uh, okay, Tabitha will get, will get up. Um... Or, I'm sorry, uh, Chase. Okay. <laughs> cool. Hold himself, sorry. Hold himself yeah. in place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, you, you, you can hear them get up behind you. Wolf, are, uh, do you want to, uh, fight this? Yeah, I think he's going to, uh, you know, not, like, fight back yet, but he's gonna, like, stand up and, like, try to put some space between himself and Chase and Tabitha and be like, you don't have to, you just have to explain what's going on. Bridget, please. Okay, so Chase and Tabitha, right now at least, are committed. And your uh, arguments uh, that they don't have to it, it aren't super sway right now. So you know that um, your choice right now is literally fight, flight, or freeze. Because if you keep talking, they are going to grab you. I think he's going to start to move to leave. As he's leaving, he's he's basically just pleading with Bridget. Like, please, just explain what's going on. I, mm -hmm. I... I don't want to leave. I just want to understand. You see Chase leap 
towards you like he's going to tackle you. And the moment gets cranked up even further. If you don't run or punch him, you are going to be stuck. <laughs> I think he is going to... Yeah, any half answers and he's got you. Okay. I think he is going to... I guess just punch Chase. Great. Like he he wants to yep. like get he doesn't want to hurt anyone, but if it's literally no half answers, then he's just gonna punch yep. him and try to get out of uh Roll volatile, please. That's a six. Okay, well, uh congratulations. You yep. you get XP, which is very exciting. Um, it's a very exciting moment, uh, for everyone right now. It's, You're learning something. You are. You are learning something. I don't want to learn this lesson. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. We're about to get taken. Yo. Um, oh, I did the thing. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. I fixed it. Okay. So, Chase, uh, tackles you. Um, and he tackles you kind of hard, because he kind of thought you were going to run. Uh... And you're going to take a harm, first things first. Great. Um, Perfect. That's what we need. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely 100% what we need right now. And where is my other note? Other note, other note. Where's that other note? Oh, that one's not helpful right now. Uh, All right, I guess it's not time yet, then. So, uh, so Chase tackles you, and um, he kind of, like, bear bear hugs you on the ground, so you're stuck. And Tabitha will uh, sort of kneel on the ground in front of you and just, like, force your head up so you're, so you're looking up towards Bridget. And his, his expression is, like, scared and desperate. Oh, he's looking at Bridget. Cool. Well, Tabitha's thrilled. She's super excited. <laughs> Poor wolf. Don't you realize the gift you're being given? You're going to rule this town by my side. And I run the blood over his forehead and kiss him. Oh. Um, do you want to roll hot? Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean... <laughs> It's kind of a funny situation, but... Uh, I rolled a natural 12. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Get it. Well, Wolf, <laughs> you have a choice. Uh, well, first of all, Bridget, you gain a string on Wolf. Yep. And, uh... Wolf, you said you wanted strings on you, Wolf. You did. You did say that. Uh, and, Wolf, you can either give yourself to Bridget... Promise Bridget something you think she wants, or get embarrassed and act awkward. So this is how I'm envisioning it playing out in my mind. Okay. I he is very like you know Chase has grabbed him. Tabitha's like headlocking him to like you know keep his head from moving, and he like I said he's got this like very scared and desperate like I want to leave look on his face. Mm -hmm. and his eyes kind of widen as Bridget like, goes in for the kiss. Mm -hmm. And at first, he's very, like, stiff and, like, doesn't kiss back. He would, like, Tabitha would be able to, like, feel him kind of, like, resisting against her pull. Mm -hmm. But then, like, a few moments pass, and he kind of, like, warms up, and he totally just, like, kisses her back. Yes! And, like, gets into it. <laughs> cool! <laughs> in case it's not clear, he's giving himself to Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Bridget, it's, it's your show again. Yeah. Bridget stands up and is like, good. I'm glad you made the right choice, Wolf. And I he look doesn't say anything. And I kind of leave this kind of like group of people being held by like this sort of trifecta holding down and look at the viscera for some sort of sign of the future and what's happening like I used to when but, I was younger. Cool. Roll dark. Yes, please. Uh, wow. I, my dark is bad, but I still got it. Uh, nine. Name what you're looking for. 
Uh, I'm looking for some sort of sign of the future. Um, like what is going on? Why is are things suddenly falling apart? You see the remains of the rabbit uh, before you and in your eyes they seem to start to move they, they twitch um well if you you also see bridget intently staring at the rabbit remains but you don't see any such movement just to clarify um and as they start to twitch you see sort of like an overlay of the rabbit as it was before um so you sort of see the uh gore of the rabbit and you see the living rabbit at the same time and it kind of starts to twitch back and forth like a uh, a glitchy video game you know like the the, the overlays aren't working um, and uh, through that you get sort of <sighs> let me ask you this I'm interrupting myself now mm -hmm. At the beginning of this uh, scene, you're talking about how someone betrayed you. Mm -hmm. were you. Who were you talking about? Were you talking about Marissa? Karina. Karina. Okay, I wanted yeah. to make Marissa sure. Marissa let me down. Yeah, but Karina... Karina betrayed me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you see... You, do, you see Karina. Um, you see Karina uh, in her bedroom. Um... She appears to be sleeping, um, and you see a cat jump up on her bed. It flashes again, and you see Karina talking to Donovan, um, and there's this strange woman behind Donovan uh, who seems angry. Um, and then you see... Karina uh, again, and uh, she seems to be fighting with this woman, like literally, like wrestling in the woods with this woman, surrounded by people you don't recognize. Um, and then a few minutes later, the rabbit uh, stops twitching, and you're back um, without any any more direct insight. Okay. That took like minutes? Uh, yeah, that took like like five minutes, we'll say. And Is... everyone's just been standing there holding you still. Anytime okay, you like, you like, say. anytime you like try to like look up at Tabitha, she's a hair puller. She kind of like smiles and pulls your hair so you're staring at Bridget. At, at Ch Chase and her are, st are staying super, super uh, still. And I guess Wolf is too. <laughs> yep. Cool. Your show, Bridget. I look at the three together and I say, Krina and Donovan are our enemies. We need to crush them before the party Saturday. Find out what their weaknesses are. And let me know so we can destroy them. Um, and Tabitha will say, "What was it, Marissa working on Donovan?" And I'm pretty sure he's like Marissa is a failure. He don't become one too, Tabitha. Chase, maybe you should do Donovan, and I'll do Krina. <laughs> Wolf is very noticeably like silent. Don't okay, he, cool. He still has no idea what's going on, how to process this. Uh, I guess he wasn't. He. So correct me if I'm wrong, Natalie. Uh, mm -hmm. Up until now, I imagine Bridget and Wolf have been friends, but not like super close. Uh, I think so. I think you were kind of her only friend through middle school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, you weren't that close. You were just her only. Right, and then <laughs> like, I, I feel like once she kind of 
came into herself in high school. <laughs> they kind of like drifted apart a little. Like they were still yeah. friendly, but they weren't like you know hanging out every day or anything. Yeah. So I think seeing this kind of vengeful, like really cold and like scary side of her is like a little surprising to him because he's just imagining like the girl that he knew, you know, back uh, and like the airs that you kind of put on to everyone else. Uh, so he's a little surprised by all of this. He honestly doesn't really want any part in destroying anyone. <laughs> um, he's He's got a lot of questions right now, so he's not really saying anything. <laughs> cool. Um, and I'm going to like, lean down to Wolf and say, Wolf, darling, you'll pick me up for school tomorrow. <laughs> I think it takes him a moment to realize that, like, even though you're, like, leaning down in front of him, and he's, covered like... covered in, like, funny yeah, blood. And... Yeah, it takes him a moment, and he's just also a little stunned by the, just, like, normal question you're asking him. Uh, and he's just like, yeah... Of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And then Bridget's going to turn and walk back toward the farmhouse and say, clean this up. Back to the other three, to the three as she walks back toward the farmhouse. Um, Brid uh, so Chase will let you go. Um, and, we, and Tabitha will let you go uh, at the same time. And... Um, And, uh, and when Chase lets you go, he stands up and he kind of looks at you. And he's like, yeah, cl clean it up, new person. And Tabitha... He... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I didn't want no, to okay. interrupt you. Yeah, uh, I, I was just going to say, and Tabitha like, gets all excited. But like, yeah, you're the newer one now. <laughs> I think Wolf is going to start walking after Bridget. Oh, okay. Cool. Go for it. So I think he'll like even as they're both just like yeah clean it up he'll just like walk right past them yeah and start like going after bridget and he'll even call out not like loud to like wake anyone up and he'll just be like bridget wait i'll turn around i think he's mine right now so i'll indulge him he'll he'll walk up to bridget like stand right in front of her and just, he'll, I think what he's going to do is, he's going to uh, reach down to, like, take your bloody hands mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, in his own. He does seem a little grossed out by it, but it's kind of that look where he's, like, ignoring it for your sake. Uh, and he'll, uh lean in and, and kiss her. <laughs> just no words, just lean in and kiss her. Okay. I think you should roll hot. I think you should too, yeah, I agree. Sounds good. Uh, there we go, that's a ten. So, uh, you get a string on Bridget, and Bridget, you get to choose. Uh, you can give yourself, you can promise something, or you can get embarrassed and act awkward. Would you like to come back to my room, Wolf? Yeah, I, I think I would. And I'm going to take his hand and lead him back to my room. What? What? Dark is so uh. again. <laughs> that wasn't dark is so. So. Well, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but it it, right. Imagine what Dark itself is going to be. Right. So, um, as, oh as soon as you're inside the house, of course, Chase sighs. And be like, oh, damn it. Now we have to clean it up. Um, uh, take that, Chase and Tabitha. Uh, would you, would the two of you like to fade to black on this moment? I mean, I've got nothing else to do besides fade to black, Wolf. I think. Wolf wants to say something after. Oh, yes, please. That's why I asked these wonderful questions. Like, so, after they, they do whatever. So we both, so I become dark as self. 
Okay, yeah. So you become dark yourself once wolf once you leave wolf sight. Okay. Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Once, you're once right. Once he looks mm-hmm. away. Oh, no, so okay. So it, it sounds like I don't even have to ask my question. Um, yeah. yeah, and you're already one of them. So you're right. Extra one of them. Extra. Super yeah. one of them. I, I warned you it would be extra. You know. Yeah. And this uh, is with a blood stained Bridget. Great. So yeah, I imagine there's uh, some fun bloody times. Yep. Cool. Yep. So, um, uh, just like with uh, Karina, then we'll do pillow talk um, because you wanted to ask, say something after. So, what is yes. Wolf's pillow talk? <laughs> I think he's going to um, just very like sweetly, like like brush some hair out of Bridget's face and kind of like cup her cheek a little and say. You know, if you ever need to talk to anyone, I'm always here. I appreciate it, Wolf. And he's just going to, like, lean in and then kiss her on the forehead. Um, He'll kind of look in the, you know, whatever vague direction outside is Mm -hmm. and be like, do you think those two, like, Got it covered? Of course. If they don't, they know the consequences. Right. The consequences. Um, so is there, like, anything else you needed tonight? I'm going to go shower. You can stay as long as you like. But you need to be gone before sunrise. When my yeah. moms wake up to start their chores. I should probably go. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you can pick me up in the morning. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow morning. And we'll, we'll, we'll start, you know, to head out. Okay. I'll kiss him goodbye. Sweet. Uh, he, like, you know, makes his way back home. He sneaks back into his own house. I think he's gonna try to do his best to clean up without like showering, so he doesn't like turn on the shower and like wake up his parents. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna what use the sink then? Yeah, just, yeah. Like, use the sink and just, like sponge bath himself, or you know whatever parts are still all bloody. Great. Um. Now, would having sex with Bridget after all of this count as ignoring a blatant problem with my lover? Um, I think it might, yeah. I think I think that might count, yeah. Just, like, weird bunny sacrifice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, sweet. So I get to mark experience then. Bunny sacrifice, talking about destroying other people. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, you know. She's I, ruling I have, have, the school. The bigger question is how many points of experience do you get for all of the problems? One, it was one noise. scene. It it's was one, one scene. collective uh, problem, I think. There was a, a number of times early where you weren't ignoring it. So, you know, it took some time to ignore it. Uh, yeah, I think he, his, so his, like, kind of thoughts at the end of the night is that he's like, this is fucked up. Mm-hmm. Not a huge fan of this. I am a huge fan of, fan of Bridget. At least I, I think I'm a huge fan of Bridget. Like, mm-hmm. this is a little different. Not exactly what I was expecting. But I'll figure this all out later. <laughs> Basically, he's, like, pushing it off. Like, well, this is a problem for later, Wolf. Mm-hmm. And I would even argue uh that that uh therapeutic group activity uh would allow you to play a bad friend if you'd like okay yeah. i'm a fan of that mm-hmm. you're a good friend because you let them I'm hold a- you down and paint you with blood right <laughs> I'm, I'm a good friend to these guys I that's think. right that's right are you also dealing with your harm and your cleaning and like washing yourself and I don't think that's enough to deal with the harm right now. Okay. Okay. I think half a night's rest and hurried sink washing uh, is not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna I'm count sure, there. I'm sure all this staying up late and harm will be great for your swim trials. Yeah, I absolutely. Know. <laughs> yep, of course. It should be fantastic. Um, and uh, hey, Bridget. Mm-hmm. You're now your darkest self again. Isn't that mm-hmm. great? Let's update that. You're uh, welcome. And um, 
Yeah, you know, I even though it was therapeutic for you as well, I don't think you get the opportunity to clear me yet. I just don't see that happening quite no. yet. No. <laughs> um, whoops! The condition that will never go away. You know? Um, cool! So that was a fun scene. Let's jump to a different bedroom, shall we? Um, uh, Krina, you wake up with a Tanya cat on your face yelling at you. What do you do? Oh, and just to make sure everyone is on the same page, the cat is yelling, Castile is Zeus. <laughs> It, it, the with the hand motions, the the cat backs off a little bit, and it's just like, wake up! Are you I'm awake? Awake. I'm I, awake! Okay, good. Did you hear what I said then? Tanya? Yes. Why are you a cat? Why are you dreaming? No, you're not dreaming. Cause it was just convenient. Okay, you'll. I don't know. You'll probably never understand because you're not fully fed, but. One day, maybe. Okay, well, let's work on that later. This is bad. What do you want? I'm, I'm Why are you waking me up? I'm, try I'm delivering a message to you, a very important message. The the weird voice in your head is 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 a god. It's like a like a very like weird like sex obsessed god. Castile. Yeah. Is it, good? it you. Yeah, okay. Did you, you I mean, that explains a lot about Corey, but... Okay. Which one is Corey again? He's apparently, like, his family is, like, offering Corey as, like, a sacrifice? To oh, you? oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, sure. You know, and they say that the Fae, you know, don't advance over time. Oh, Jesus Christ, humans. Ah! Yeah, the humans are pretty fucked up. Yeah, with you on that one. I just think uh, it's funny because I said Jesus Christ. That's that's what humans say. Um, anyway, uh, all right. So don't so like, t don't talk to him. Okay, just stop stop doing that. So like you mean Zeus isn't like Hercules' dad? Yeah, Hercules' dad. Well, his half. Well, not a half dad, but I guess his whole dad. Yeah. Huh. So all, those are all like real, like the real. Well, yeah, I mean, we pronounced it Heracles at the time, but yeah. Oh, that's cool. But the Elder stuff isn't real. What? No, of course it's real. Jack said it wasn't. He said it was stories. Well, I don't know why Jack would say that. Well, I mean, it is stories, because there are stories. That doesn't mean they're not real. Ooh, good point. I keep forgetting that. Right. Don't, don't forget that. Don't talk to voices in your head. I didn't have just a voice in my head. What? You also texted me. That's not better. That's... Well, I mean, I guess it is. Like, you can text people. But don't text Zeus. I mean, why not? Well, because he'll probably want to have sex with you. And everyone he has sex with gets turned into, like, a monster. Mm. Just like, that is his track record. What? Why are you thinking about it? Like that might be worthwhile. Sex is fun, and sex with a god might be really fun. No. no. I, okay. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tanya has to admit that is that is fair logic. Oh. <laughs> Fair folk logic. Uh, but the Tanya goes, yeah. listen, I have I have other things to do, but your brother, the king, does not want you to have sex with Zeus, okay, princess? I mean, I don't think you actually know that. No, he, he, he sent me here. Specifically to tell you who I can and can't have sex with. Yes, apparently that is my job now. No, no, actually, he, no, he didn't say the sex part. He said, don't talk to him. Oh my goodness, so what are you gonna, you gonna just have silent sex? I don't have any current plans about who I'm going to have sex with. Oh my gosh. It's fun if you don't plan ahead. No, um, mm, mm, okay, I can't, 
You're right. I have no. This isn't my problem. You're not my problem. You're not. I gotta go. And the cat's gonna turn hey, around Tanya. and jump. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're just, just like bust out laughing to herself. Oh my gosh! It, um, you see, um, as like Tanya hit, jumps on the windowsill, like the the tail just gets kind of like twitchy, um, and then uh, Tanya disappears into the night. Um, now that you're awake, is there anything you want to do? Or do you want to go back to sleep? Um, I think Kree will pick up her phone, and she'll like. Like use like a note taking app or something and just write or like send an email to herself and be like Castile is Zeus question mark question mark question mark question mark like lightning bolt emoji mm -hmm. and then like go back to sleep. Oh yeah, you don't want to forget that. You know that's fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, Siri, remind me that Castile is Zeus at seven thirty. <laughs> um, that's solid. That's a solid plan, Krita. Great job. Uh, so. Um, Donovan, is there anything you want to do uh, between, like, 9 at night and 6 a.m.? Two things, but first is probably answer a text. Oh, uh, yeah. You got, you got yeah. a text. Uh, the text from a mystery number that says, hey, you know you can always call me. Yeah. Cool. And so probably a little after, you know, Chuck and Corey in and playing around of um, league, mm -hmm. he'll pick up the phone and be like, Ugh. and then text, hey, and that's it. Okay, great. And you get a, a message, like, almost immediately back, and it says, new phone, who dis? Donovan reply back. You up? <laughs> uh, and the you get back. Yes, I am always up. Who are you? And the you get back. I asked you first. Why did you text me then? And um, there's the, you, there is a dot 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 this time for just like a few seconds, and uh, the reply comes back wrong number. Donovan reply discreet. Got it. And you don't get a response. Okay. Um, following that, Donovan's going to go to the store to make sure he has some decent breakfast food. Oh, that's nice. What does Donovan think decent breakfast food is uh, that you can get at a 24-hour convenience store? He'll probably look for eggs and bacon, but settle for cereal and milk. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, in my experience, um, I can generally get eggs and bacon at a 24-hour convenience store. Yeah, all enough, right. So. so then maybe he'll get all four of those things. Yeah, you never know. Who knows? Yeah. The humans are weird. You never know what they're going to want to eat. Um, awesome. Um, oh, my gosh. Natalie. Um, <laughs> I missed it. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Um, and it's rude. Okay. We Aww, here in Boston, so mean. Are, we're not yet over that flood. It was a tragic <laughs> accident. My parents. Yeah. And, um, Real maple syrup, no molasses. I love stuff to make pancakes. <laughs> no. In case you want it on your cereal. Yeah, no, no syrup. You can put um, syrup on eggs, it's good. Uh, after that, Donovan will go home and await Corey's um, waking up. Eventually, what does that lo look like? Are, like oh, he, he he goes home and he plays some games, makes sure his homework's done to the bare minimum. Yeah, and uh, you know, probably like I don't know, an hour before he would normally leave for school, he'll mm -hmm. start making breakfast. Awesome! I love it. 
Yes. Okay, cool. So he's not sitting in an armchair just watching the movie. That's what I wasn't no, not sure this about. This time. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> we save that for second date. Yeah, he's yeah. not that kind of a vampire. Uh, hey. When we do the flashback, then Corey will see Donovan's just been at the window like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, yeah. You know what? Let's keep going. Let's continue the scene because um, we we know what everyone else is doing. Uh, in the middle of the night. Sleeping. Uh, sleeping. So actually, let us... This is a momentous occasion. Hold on one second here. Let me grab my slides here. Uh, here we go. Uh, it is no longer Wednesday. Oh my God, we advanced a day. It is Ooh. now Thursday, everybody. Woo! Whim tryouts, everybody. <laughs> so let's... At least one of us excited for those. <laughs> so great. So, uh, Corey, uh, you uh, wake up uh, feeling uh, a little hungover, uh, but um, this is not ex really your first time you've gotten angry drunk, uh, so uh, yeah. you're probably okay. Plus, you smell bacon. Um, uh, you're in a strange bed, but it happens. Uh, it happens. This is not atypical either. Right. <laughs> But bacon, so but bacon. what do you do? Yeah. I think uh, he like reaches for like a glass of water expecting there to be one or a water bottle and, and is there one? Oh, why would I keep water in that room? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know what some gracious and or ungracious host might do. Right. Um, and so... <laughs> Donovan's not a host type. He's more of a, You're like, making bacon type. and eggs, Donovan, okay? Yeah, yeah, come yeah. on now. He forgot what alcohol does to you. He forgot he forgot yeah. about hangover. So he he, he he frowns and like rubs at his forehead and starts making his way downstairs naked. Cool. And looks around the house and I think he, he remembers most of what happened last night. Yeah. Some of the ranting is a little fuzzy. But but for the most part, he, he remembers and he's not in the best of moods. Fantastic. So, Donovan, before you know it, um, Corey is once again naked before you. What do you do? All right. So, Donovan probably has, like, some trancy trap music playing and he, as he's cooking. <laughs> and as you come in, he kind of, like, turns and he goes over to his phone and turns it down and frowns a little and says, oh, was it cold upstairs? <laughs> Were you all cold, please? Yeah. You asshole! Yeah. Oh, that's 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, cool. So, um... Choose one from below. Two. I'll take a two. Spring. Right. Ugh. Because uh, five is not enough. No. No. And I'll no. take a forward. Okay, a a string and a forward. I see you making those notes. Excellent. Um, and Donovan kind of smirks, like, obviously he's making a joke. All right. Uh, Chili Corey, how, what, how do you respond? It was the sight of your face. Ooh, oh. Donovan no. chuckles. I'm not well, going to let you roll for that. No, it's not. No, he's just trying to save face. He's yeah. Trying to save face. He's trying to save face. It's very bad. Yeah, he's like, he knows it's bad, but he can't help himself. Donovan would gesture the bacon on the table, and um, I've got eggs if you want scrambled eggs. Otherwise, they're cereal. I figured you should have something because you're probably not feeling great. I don't, I don't know how much alcohol actually affects you anymore. That's a good point. And like, he like goes to the table. He's like, can you poach? And he like, sits at the table. A piece of bacon. I can scramble. That's where you stir it all up. Can, can you poach though? No. Just no. Make it oil. Just make it oil. <laughs> uh, okay, I could probably do that. Just make it like oil. Is he like bacon? Like, so Donovan will go to the um <laughs> the refrigerator. Sorry, mm -hmm. I forgot. Well, that's where people keep food. Right. Um, <laughs> It's only recently been plugged in, so... Yeah, uh, Don Donovan would go inside. You would see that there's probably just, like, some energy drinks, um, the eggs, and maybe another package of bacon in there. And uh, he'd pull out the eggs and then go over to the stove, turn it on, and start, like, trying to separate the white from the yolk. And he, he doesn't look particularly... Like, he's, oh, where is... Where's the spatula? Oh, yeah, and he goes over to a different drawer like he 
he doesn't obviously cook much at all. I'm sorry, just to clarify, I, I heard Corey say the omelet part, but are you trying to make an egg white omelet? He said, he, yeah, he said egg white omelet. Wow. <laughs> okay. So I, if anybody ever has tried to make an omelet for the very first time, uh, can tell you, and you're going for an egg white omelet after a very long time of having to do so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no. What you make is scrambled eggs. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what he's getting. Okay. It's going to be some egg whites that are scrambled or maybe just kind of like folded a few times. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. right. oh, yeah, Donovan isn't pretending to uh, try too hard, but he'll okay. at least make it egg whites. He'll, hu and... he'll humor Corey. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Salt or pepper. You just didn't have that in the house. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ices? He's never, he's, the, well, I, I mean, hold on a second. Maybe margarita salt, I'm just saying, but. Yeah, maybe in the study. Yeah, he's not walking to the study to get margarita <laughs> salt. Um, not for Corey. Not for so Corey. Do Donovan would kind of like smirk as he's starting to separate the eggs and says, how much of last night do you remember? I remember telling you things I probably shouldn't have. And I'm just fucking done with half of this bullshit. I'm just done with it. Nope. Done. Fucking done. That's good. I think um, that might be difficult, but... Fuck them. I can do whatever I want. Your family's still gonna want to use you. Well, they can suck it. I'm What's your plan, you? then? I'm just gonna tell them no. Just tell them no. Are you gonna tell Castile no? Oh, yeah. Last night, I gave him the bird and was like, I'm done with you. All right. All right. So what happens the next time he does ask you for something? I mean, he's going to need to sincerely kiss my ass if he wants me to actually do stuff with him. I am so pissed. He needs to show me the proper respect that I deserve. And how much... Did, I mean, you were talking a lot and talking about, you know, some of the other four... Do, do you think they died accidentally? As he stirs the eggs. As he stirs the eggs. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Your cousin might have said sacred offering when referring to you, which sounded a lot um, like, like you are an offering to this power in a not so living very long kind of way if uh, you get my drift no 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 no. i i am the avatar i am the voice the embodiment yeah the embodiment for however long you're still alive that's nonsense that that's that, that's ridiculous uh, just, He's like, just put bacon in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, eat more bacon. Um, but you need to watch out for them because I, I, I don't think they have your best interest in heart. And um, I've been there. I've been there. People using you, ready to let you die for them. So um, just watch out. Watch out. Um, it, it's uh, it's it's good you uh, want to say no, but I mean. They're your family, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. But, like, that's, like... I don't know. They're acting funny this week, but they're gonna learn to get over it, and then things will go back to normal. Or something. Or whatever. I don't fucking know. I'm done with this. I'm done with being disrespected, and until there is proper fixing and apologies, I'm done with this. Mm-hmm. And Donovan's eyes will go wide, and he will say, Stand on this chair. And I'm trying to hypnotize you. Roll. Nothing happened. Don't stand on that chair, Brian. <laughs> Please roll. That wasn't you. That the little the little mechanism. Six and four is ten. <laughs> plus one is eleven. Plus one is twelve. Whoa! All right, Charlie Baker. Let's see here. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, uh. Wolf's mom, Freeman. On a turn up, they do exactly what you wish and have no idea that anything is wrong. Cool. 
So, um, Corey, you're going to stand on a chair. Yeah, Corey finds himself, like, suddenly standing on a chair, and he's, he's blinking and confused. No, you're not confused. Oh. Nothing is wrong. It's perfectly okay. normal. You okay, wanted cool. to stand on this chair. Donovan and he's standing tries. on the chair, and he's looking at you, and he is like, he's like, this is a see, this is a proper position for someone of my stature. Is are, to be are up you above, and no one you, is paying attention. Are you comfortable? You can you can sit, you know. Of course, I could sit if I wanted to, but I want to stand on this chair because <laughs> I am showing how resplendent I am and how I'm oh, supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are you? Why, I feel like you're mocking me right now. I am. <laughs> I am. I made you stand on that chair, just like I made your cousin tell me what it is they want with you, which makes them golden gods when they make you a sacred offering to no, Castile. No, 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 no. I, mm -hmm. I, Aurelius Ananias Cordero Castile the fifth. I am the golden, god-given lamb of the kings. Yeah, don't and, people eat lamb? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, we serve a whole roasted lamb every year on my birthday, but that's different. That's just like a, an actual lamb. So I, that's why I think the baby blanket says Cory, because Cory's also Greek for lamb. Donovan will, like, turn off the heat and, like, bring over the eggs and, like, slide them onto the plate. They look more like folded scrambled eggs than they look like an omelet and say, maybe you should think about all that as you eat that, because it seems like you're kind of ignoring some warning signs. Um, yeah. Oh, did you want milk? I bought milk. You didn't just have milk? No, I don't drink milk. Wait, what? how could you have made me do this? No, you stood up because you're resplendent. And... Exactly, and but, but you claimed for a second that you made me do this. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I did. Yep. Why would you claim? Why are you so weird? Why are... And you said you made Mauricio tell you things? Because, I mean, honestly, he shouldn't have told you those things. And this whole time, he's standing there buck naked You're on You're focusing chair. on me, and really, you should be worried about yourself. Oh, my God. I'm going to go brush my teeth. I'll be right back. <laughs> Donovan will go brush his teeth. I feel like fangs Corey clean. leans down, picks up the plate, and starts eating while standing on the fucking chair. Okay, so just to be clear, okay... You can sit back oh, down. I, I know. Okay, he's, he's, good. He's making this an, an, an I did this thing. I like, want no. to make sure. Okay, no. good. Yeah, great. Great. Okay, he eats the eggs, and then depending on how long it takes for Donovan really to come quick. back down. Really quick. Donovan might... would come back. Okay. Cause, yeah, because he would go after Donovan. Mm -hmm. Did you think about what I said? A little. Just, Just be careful. I mean, you don't want to wait a few years and then, well, I mean, in your case, you just, so, um, How that, you... that's what Mauricio said, and uh, this Castile thing doesn't sound very safe, and you're already getting, I mean, it just sounds like he's using you, so, you know, I don't know how you break up with this thing, but figure it out. Why do you care? I've been there. I've been there. I don't really like this abusive, controlling thing. And, um, you know, maybe it's nice to actually talk to someone who might understand. Although you're a little single-minded, so if you could, like, grow a little faster, that would be nice. I think... Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> you know what? There's nothing wrong with how I'm behaving, with everything that I'm going through. And maybe if you were less of a cold-hearted bastard and, and were more apparently understanding like you keep trying to say you are, then it wouldn't be less of an issue. And he's going to take the plate and fucking throw it onto the ground. Cool. Now you have a broken plate on your floor. Did you finish the eggs before you yeah, threw I it? The eggs. Okay. <sighs> you know, you act... Like, you're so hot and cold. One moment, you're inviting me in, and you're telling me to strip, and then you're telling me no, and then you're like, Corey, you can confide. You're almost as bad as Wolf. You confide in me, and, and, and then you're like, but you oh, know, maybe oh, oh, you yes. should grow up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I should get you your pants from the dryer, and Donovan will walk and head to the dryer. 
Corey just screams. Which I imagine is just an off room to the kitchen, so it takes him just like a minute. Right. He pulls out the dryer. And Donovan sighs. You need to make some of these decisions yourself. And um, if I'm hot and cold, I'm glad you care that I uh, am, I guess, being blunt with you in some ways. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I you you need to take some of this on yourself. I can only tell you so much, and you know, try to get through the fog of your hedonistic drinking. And orgies. It's fun. What what more is there supposed to be? I guess you have to figure that out for yourself. What do you care about? I know it's been a long week. It really has felt like a long week. And time usually doesn't matter that much to me, but it's been a long what? week. Why does time not matter so much to you? You keep saying... Why? Donovan will, like, lean in, grin, and just, like, let the fangs slowly pop out. And he says, I know there are strange things out there. I am one. And smile. I'm going to kick you straight in the goddamn chest. Uh, Roll volatile, please. That is scary shit. (laughs) Ooh, that's a seven. Cool. Um... Actually, it's, it's so that's a seven with your volatile. Yes. What would the number be if I had asked for a cold roll? I think that's literally the same. Yeah, you're hot dark. Yeah, I'm hot dark. It's the same. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay. Cool. Let's. We'll keep. We'll, I'm gonna keep it. Um. I. I had a very tough fight in my head just now, y'all. Y'all should have seen it. It was like that scene in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon where the two swordsmen go at it for like 10 minutes uh, and you find out they did it entirely in their heads um, while the old man (laughs) played that cool string instrument. All right. Uh, You lash out physically. Uh, You are going to harm Donovan, but you choose one. They, Evie, Donovan is they here, they learn something about your true nature and gain a string on you. Option two. The MC decides how bad the harm turns out. Option three, you become your darkest self. Uh, I don't think, I mean, he has no strings on me, so darkest self is sort of dumb. And there going on. Oh, uh, let's have... <laughs> let's have you decide how bad the harm is. Excellent. All right, so... Uh, First, first of all, Donovan, uh, you get sucker kicked in the face uh, because uh, Corey shit. is still no face. Oh shit! You're standing naked on a chair. Um, <laughs> you may have chest. wanted to kick in the chest, but I decide these things, and you kick them in the face. Uh, you've given me all the power. Uh, it's still only one harm, uh, which is cool. This is a cool thing. I'm a cool, I'm a cool MC. I'm a cool MC. Yeah, I'm a cool MC. I'm one of those cool oh, you got MCs. It. I got Thank it. You. I got you. However, Corey, mm-hmm. uh, you just kicked a vampire in the face while standing naked on a chair. So you fall backwards. Nice. And break a chair. You take one harm, and the chair takes one harm. The chair only had one hit point, though. So it's I've had broken. that chair for like 30 years. <laughs> it's older than you. <laughs> chair. Fucking vampire. Yeah. 
Wait, wait, wait. You don't know that he's a vampire. How did you, you just learn? showed me his fangs. I did show the fangs. Oh, okay, that's fair then. Continue with your assumption that he's a vampire. He's clearly a werewolf. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. I, 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 I forgot that we didn't do the other thing. That's all. Okay. Fight, fight in my head. You're a vampire! You're a vampire. Yup. Yeah. That hurt, by the way. You yeah, hurt, hurt me pretty often. What? Wow. Yeah, I mean, you bit my finger, you say rude things, even when I'm trying to help you. I mean, at least now you'll believe me, right? I don't know. Maybe Look how much I'm sharing with you. <laughs> <laughs> and how do I know that you're not just... And he's, like, pulling up the pants that have been brought out. Like, how do I know that you're not just trying to use me, too, if you're, if you're some fucking manipulative vampire dick? I don't want anything from you. I've only been trying to help you. Have I asked you for anything? I don't know. Apparently, you're trying to get me to stay in your house and get away from my family. What, so I can be like your personal blood bag or something? Uh, time out real quick. I just want to clarify. Corey, are you lying on the floor naked while you have this passionate debate? Sure. Okay, great. Please continue. Sure. You're not... Do you you're want to this? stay here... <laughs> Donovan, Donovan shakes his head and just says, no, I'm pretty clearly made sure you knew we were friend-zoned. Okay, Donovan, uh, would you please roll uh, cold? Uh, I think you have to roll shut someone down again. And you want to make sure you add an extra one to this roll, because one thing that we often forget to do is when we use those conditions... Um, you get to add one, and uh, you, we don't have to say them like that, audience, just so you know, to, to get the plus one, but that just made it. It seemed to make sense. It, yeah, it really did. It was a nice yeah, dig. No. It hurt. So eight, two, one is 11. Hey! Yeah, that's pretty shut someone down. Um, choose one from below. Choose two from below, actually. Um, okay. I'll take the string again. Yeah, yeah. That's seven. Should we up the the friend zone? Should we tr try to turn that into something even worse? Or I'm thinking, um, oh, mm, yeah, maybe Donovan would immediately follow up with, "I think you need family, like a brother who actually cares about you." So, like, maybe, oh, maybe that's too nice. It's a little weird. Um, okay, so, so here's a super super nerdy question real quick sure. um when superman uses his laser gun thingy to send really dangerous criminals into like the, the that other dimension what is that called oh um the, i know what you phantom mean the other zone. space phantom zone the yeah. phantom zone um sorry. no don't be sorry i asked the question <laughs> I mean, like, is, is, like, phantom friend zoned? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's all, In my head, that makes sense. Like, you're no longer friend zoned. You're phantom zoned. I suggested in chat undesirable. <laughs> that, is, that is worse than friend zoned. Mm. Yeah. It's for real. But, like, fandom, like, phantom zoned, though. <laughs> so good. Are we going to so remember good. what it is next week when <laughs> it's still I on the show? I remember. Uh. That's beautiful. Oh, someone suggested it's never gonna happen, which is also really good. Ooh. That yeah, is worse I than like friend that. zone. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna give you never gonna happen, um, but we're gonna we're gonna keep phantom zone in our back pocket. Maybe that'll be the title of our next episode. Uh, Brian, remember that as a, an option when you rewatch this. Okay. Um, yeah, and I think at that, Corey's gonna just like thunk his head back against. Oh, yeah. Because this is just, just everything's fucking wrong. I'm not trying to get anything from you, and you can leave. I mean, you came here of your own volition. But um, I do want you to think about some of uh, what I've said. And um, again, remember, I exposed myself willingly to you. <laughs> I think Corey, like, actually, like, laughs. A little, like, oh, just laughs. Like this, this everything's so fucked up. Um, and I think he's he's thinking through 
a lot of what he said of what donovan has said and he's gonna like take back and lean up and look at like the way the you know how like i, I imagine sometimes the ceilings the ceiling fans and so like they whirl mm -hmm. so he's looking at the whirl of that and i think he's contemplating uh the questions that donovan's been asking him specifically about his family maybe about his daddy mm -hmm. and uh i'd like to lean into my daddy issues and uh roll dark why do you want to roll dark? Uh, so I like, so uh, Donovan has made all these accusations that his family wants to like um, sacrifice him, mm -hmm. and that this whole like image of what he's supposed to be is not real. Mm -hmm. And his father is the head is is the the head of the family, and so he's trying to gaze into the abyss essentially mm -hmm. um, to figure out his daddy issues. Okay, I think that's 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 cool. Um... Uh, I'm gonna I'll let you do that, but before I let you roll, you need to tell me what you're looking for a little more specifically. Okay. Um, what do I really mean to my family? Cool. Roll dark. Do I have time maybe to have Donovan like clean up his mouth and clean up blood and? Yeah, yeah. You you start picking up while Corey yeah. stares at your ceiling. Nice. Donovan's just like, yep, I'm gonna let that happen. Yep. Sometimes your naked friend just needs to stare at the ceiling for a while. You lived through the yeah. 70s. <laughs> Part of the 80s. Yeah. Wow. Rape scene of the 90s. Nine. Nine? Nine. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh... You um, you still stare at the ceiling, and you sort of like really try to like concentrate on all the like feelings you've had before when you've been sort of like figuring things out, like 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 as if you could use Castile's power um, without actually talking to Castile, and. Uh, you do, you see glimpses of your family, um, you see your, your dad literally sitting at a desk counting money, um, uh, you see your mom at this, uh, gala, uh, just like, just smoozing it up with people, uh, you see that one, uh, relative who you thought was the fourth, um, and he, he just, he, he's got this smile on his face. Like he is just so content and happy. Um, and, uh, then you see this warehouse on fire. Uh, you've never seen this warehouse before. You have no idea what you're looking at. And as you sort of come to, uh, you hear your, your phone buzz um, where you left it on the kitchen table, uh, you're apparently getting a notification of some kind. Ugh. Trying to be introspective. And Donovan's just picking up pieces of the broken plate. Yep. Already Corey having doesn't... cleaned up his face. Yeah, Corey doesn't even get up. He just, like, reaches his arm up onto the table to, like, find the phone, grab Great. it, brings it down. Trying oh. to be introspective, damn it. Awesome. And you have a, a new message from Castile. And mm -hmm. it, it says, yeah, your family doesn't give a shit about you, kid. Apparently, and then I think he's going to text up, well, apparently you don't either, asshole. And he goes, hey, I think you're great. I tried to talk to you last night, but something happened. Oh, oh, really? Did you really try that hard? He goes, well, I generally don't have to. Something happening is not frequent. I didn't. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, no, go ahead. It's fine. Oh, yeah, he's like, yeah, well, fuck you. I'm done with your bullshit. If you're not going to give me the respect I deserve, I'm done with you. And uh, Castile messages back, no, you're not. And he gets a no. smiley face. <laughs> he's just going to respond back, yes, I am. It's instantaneous. No, you're not. 
Yes, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. And then I think it's. <laughs> Is that your family texting where you've been? <laughs> no. It's Castile. And he's gonna. And he's gonna. You know what? Oh, Corey's gonna. You know what? He's like, you know what? Don't. And he's gonna reach in and block the number. Okay. Oh, for, well, he's gonna add. He's gonna add in one last. No, you're not. And before the, it's like trying to get in before. <laughs> you the move away. And as you as you're in the like settings to hit block, you see it come up. No, you're not. Right before you hit block. <laughs> uh, which is great. Uh, what a great way to end breakfast. Uh, it is eight fifty nine according to my watch, which means this is the perfect time for us to take our quick break. Everyone get your liquid refreshment and use the facilities and we'll come right back and we'll see how other people's mornings go uh, on Gehenna Valley.
God, why are these faces? They can hear you say that because I was bringing the mics up. I like making faces. I'm just very facially expressive. Oh. No, that's good. I, I Watching usually, back some of these, woof. I'm like. <laughs> I'm usually decently facially expressive also, but this helps. So obviously we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, thanks for coming back from the break, everyone. But at the close, they decided to leave during the break. Wow. Aren't you going to feel guilty when you watch this later and you hear me calling you out? I'll probably watch it with us, too. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's not really count. Because at the close takes advantage of the thing we're always offering, y'all, which is to... Use the links below and join us on Discord. In fact, if you join us on Discord uh, tonight, uh, this this Monday night, if you were watching it live, I have a very important poll running in the food drinks uh, forum. Uh, really? I would, yeah, absolutely. I'm talking about Discord. I'm gonna plug. I'm gonna plug the poll. Okay, I'm running a really important poll. It is. It is pinned in the channel, all right? We are doing an epic tournament of what is the best ingredient, okay? It's We're taking, subjective. It's, it is subjective, which is why it's all voting, okay? <laughs> right now, there's a lot of votes for garlic and salt, so they're definitely going to be on the bracket. But if you want your favorite ingredients to get in the bracket, you have to go vote. This is one of the amazing things... That you uh, put long pig on that menu, Robert. <laughs> why? Why not? You know what long you know what long pig is, Brian. Maybe, maybe you want to go there and vote for a rabbit. <laughs> I'm just Rabbit's saying. Aww. Yeah. Who's on? Those are just for divination. They're not right. for eating. A egg whites. Both. Milk. Uh, all sorts of things could get added. Meal of sugar. <laughs> Infernals. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, seasonings are ingredients, okay? That's what we're talking about. Like, individual things that you use. What What are the biggest, most important ones? And then we're gonna, we're gonna battle it out and put them up against oh each other. God. It's important, okay? It's important. I didn't, vote. I didn't know about that. This. this year, okay? So this is what we're gonna That's do. right, that's right. I'm gonna take <laughs> the votes and I'm gonna set up a bracket and we're gonna vote on them one at a time. See what the best. All right, so this is the type of thing that uh, you can do on the Discord. We also talk about like games, like Monster Hearts and Vampire. And, yeah, there's super exciting announcements like the con that's coming up. You know, which with the gang, you can chat with us while you rewatch. That's right. Yeah, those rewatches are really cool. They're like a live like commentary. Like you can ask us questions about like where did this come from? Mm -hmm. What were you thinking? They're, they're also. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, they can help us all avoid work. <laughs> right. They also tend to be when I write the uh, what happened last times. So you know you can influence me. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, good, good, uh, good banty, everybody, for coming back to break. Everyone gets uh, uh, one Sexy? aspiration Period. point. Um, aspiration point. What are those good for? They're not good for Nothing. anything. They're good for. <laughs> Not good for anything. <laughs> My blood pool is full. <laughs> so, uh, hey, to, to get rid of that last hunger who should we? Let's go to some. Let's. Who should we go to now? Should we? Which um, which which child here should we see? What is happening in the morning? Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, which teenager? Which young adult? Should we? Uh, should we see? I think it's a very important morning in the Fringe I'm household. I'm excited for the ride that Bridget's gonna get this morning. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, that kind of ride. in the that ride. wow, wow. <laughs> I, I, in that case, let's go to Karina first because then we can we can weave the other scenes together more fluidly. Right, I will say that there there are some things Wolf wants to do. Before he goes to pick up Bridget. Oh, absolutely! Every everyone's everyone gets a little parent morning. We're not getting a lot of sleep. As someone nope. has an important tryout. Today. It's fine. This is fine. Uh, Brian, weren't you going to ask us all our goals? Your goals? Most important thing we wanted to accomplish. No, we're not getting to anything important today. It's already halfway it's through rude. the session. You said this before we started. I was just reminding you. I'm, I anyway. appreciate the reminder. It is one of my favorite questions. Um, but at any rate, 
I have nothing I want to do before school. Oh, no, I'm making you talk to your mom. It's absolutely going to happen. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What I'm doing here, uh, folks at home in Dreamland, uh, is uh, I want to I wanna get a little glimpse at everyone's morning for comparative, comparative purposes. So I'm forcing the scenes. I'm being a very rude MC. Um, uh, mainly because uh, we really haven't seen Karina's mom at all. And even if it's just 30 seconds of Karina silently eating toast, um, I think it would, it's a good way to compare it to Corey and Donovan's morning. <laughs> that was a great morning. I don't know what you're talking about. It was about a that. fantastic yeah, morning. Yeah, naked dudes on my kitchen floor, totally hey. normal. Look, I even made a little card here for Karina's mom, Eva or Eva. Eva? Eva. 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 It's Eva. E yeah, like in Wally. -E, Eva. Exactly. Um, Eva. Um, so, actually, Karina, you wake up in the morning. What's the first thing you do? Is it perhaps check your phone? Are you one of those people? Um, actually, I feel like Karina's like mostly disdainful of the phone. Or, like, mm -hmm. forgets to use it a lot. She's actually one of those rare types. No, that's that's cool. Yeah. Um, so I feel like Karina probably gets up like. 30 seconds before it's too late to get up. Great. I think that's uh, fantastic. Uh, it's like pick, picking up some clothes off the floor to put on. Yeah. It definitely doesn't put her laundry away clean or dirty. Love it. Um, and I don't remember how you get to school. How do you get to school? I take the bus. Take the bus. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, your mom um, is a flighty hippie mom. Um, we've established that. Um, who has many, many weird random jobs. Um, so, um, uh, as you come downstairs with, like, literal seconds to run out and catch the bus, um, your mom will say, why, why are you, why are you in a rush? Look, I made breakfast. And by made breakfast, she put, like, four different boxes of cereal on the table. Oh, thanks, Mom. You know I already breakfast. Uh, but yeah, um, did you make me lunch? No, you didn't. It's the third day of school. You forgot. It's cold. Fine. I'll buy lunch. Oh, okay. Do, do you have money? <laughs> Uh, they'll send you a bill, I think. It's fine. Love you, bye. Bye. Good. Great. That was your morning. Love it. Um, gold stock for Eva. And then, uh, Wolf. Let's do Wolf for contrast, shall we? Look, I made, sure. I made Wolf's mom a Wolf's card, mom too. Wolf's mom, Freeman, yeah. Right. That's probably her name. I didn't, I didn't have a name. I couldn't see <laughs> I a name don't have for a her. Name Great. Either. All right. Cat, get on may, I, may I suggest a name? You may suggest the name. Karen. Karen? Oh, God. I think Karen has a lot of emotional baggage right now, um, <laughs> and which will force me to play the character a specific way. And I don't feel like that is fair to Ashley. Never mind Wolf. I feel like that's what we're getting, like what Wolf actually has, though, from what, what's been described. Oh, I don't I feel like we've heard much about Wolf's mom. We have a suggestion. <laughs> Wilma. Oh, is I Wilma. Know, what, what about dad? Susan? Susan's also kind of like a... A Karen. A Karen? Kind of. <laughs> Walter will, and Wilma. <laughs> uh, I would... If, if, if the, yeah, name, the, name their son Wolf. <laughs> they all just... Oh my god! Names. That does <laughs> make Wilma all the, all the oh, more uh, powerful. Bridget, are you are you suggesting <laughs> Bridget Freeman? No, no, no. We're not having Wolf's <laughs> no, mom. And no, we, we no, already went over how weird that is. Right, and I think it's very clear that when you two eventually marry, that Wolf is taking your last name. So <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. All right, we're gonna we're doing it. We're we're doing Wilma. It's happening. Wilma, all right. It's perfect. the three W's. Um, it's not weird at all. Not weird at all. Um, <laughs> the Duggar's doing just fine. And since last night was carb loading, um, right, because it's the day before, a big thing, you do carbs the night before. Yeah, I, I totally. think the morning is protein. So, um, uh, what do you do when you first wake up? What is Wolf's morning routine? Are you a phone checker? What do you do? So, yeah, so I think he, he wakes up. I think his alarm is on his phone. Mm -hmm. So he, like, naturally just, like, the first like five minutes when he first wakes up and he's like still half asleep and coming out of sleep he'll mm -hmm. you know check his phone for anything like check for any you know 
tweets or whatever. Nice. Um, then he'll go take a shower. And I think I think today he's getting up a little early. Mm-hmm. Um, partially because he couldn't really sleep very well. Partially because he's got something he's got to do mm-hmm. before he goes to pick up Bridget. That's fair. Uh, so by the time you get up, um, your dad is uh so your mom's in the kitchen um you're you're you got up a little before she thought you would so she she's still cooking your breakfast um she's boiling eggs she was gonna feed you nothing but hard-boiled eggs and um it's something it's protein it's protein and your dad uh is in the living room um uh, he's got one of those stationary bar setups so that he can do upside down sit-ups you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like he's like he's Batman, but in the living yeah. room. Yeah, he's got his like uh, his knees hooked on a bar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just there's a little. This, some of these faces are confused. So anyway, uh, so uh, and he, uh, he he speaks to you first. And he's just like, Wolf, you're up early, like a champion. I like it. You did something right. Congratulations. Thanks, so, Dad. He's just like, unless his dad has anything else to say, like he's just heading straight to the kitchen. Great, I think that's there. Yeah, that's good. That was his motivation. <laughs> he does speech. feel a little like he's like, yeah, my dad thinks I did something right for once. Good job. Yeah, me. that was that was totally positive interaction. <laughs> um, and I think he's just kind of like, even though his mom is still cooking, and she's in the room, he's not going to say anything as he just kind of sits at the table, mm-hmm. and he like takes out his phone. And he puts, he goes, like, he opens up the, like, whatever browser Mm -hmm. phones have nowadays. uh, And puts it in, like, private. And then just starts researching, like, (laughs) it's actually really comical. He's just, like, putting really vague terms, like, funny rituals. (laughs) And, like, something where it's, like, he's trying, but he's he has no idea what to search for. Mm -hmm. He wants to kind of try to figure out what exactly Bridget was trying to do, mm-hmm. and I kind of wanted to flavor it as, like, a gaze into the abyss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was totally following that. Please roll okay. dark. Ooh, eight. Oh, eight. Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, you start uh, Googling. Um, congratulations, you're on a Google watch Google. list now. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Oh, it was an incognito mode. It, it's totally fine. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, totally oh, yeah. Fine. That that's totally how you stay up lists. It does that does as an IT person? Let me tell you, everyone at home, no, that is not good enough. They still see. They still know that shit. Anyway, um, and also your work network people know too. Just FYI, it doesn't stop them from knowing where you've been. And. Okay, cool. Uh, now that we've done, uh, <laughs> what is what are we doing? All right, you're looking uh, up this is our life. bunny sacrifices on your phone at the breakfast table, which is great. Um, and you got a, uh, an eight, which is a good number. It's a quality number. You don't have to get XP, so it's not the best number, but it's a pretty good number. Um, and let me tell you, you you find a lot of weird shit. Um, there's apparently this video game that is gotten sur- super popular. Um, and it's called uh, Doki Dating at Childhood Pizza Restaurant. Um, and it involves strange girls and animatronic rabbits. Um, and uh, people use it for all sorts of weird shit. Um, all- also, uh, apparently... Uh, there was uh, a movie that came out in like the late 80s, early 90s called uh, Eerie Evan that involved some kind of bunny thing and uh, some teenagers have tried to like replicate that in the woods and it's really weird. Um, You then start finding a lot of uh, like I want to s- five nights at the literature club. I want to say um, 
that uh, they're essentially um, animal control cold cases, where it's reports of uh, animal um, deaths, um, like in the middle of the woods, that like nobody can explain. Um, and that finally leads you down a path um, after like just looking at a bunch of awful stuff um, uh, where you do find uh, some weird links between animal sacrificing and uh, old gods um, as a way to strengthen your connection to uh, like, like cult-like entities. Um, and by the time you snap out of that uh, Google hole, uh, you realize there's a bowl of hard-boiled eggs in front of you, and your mom just didn't want to interrupt whatever you were doing so intensely. Yeah, I imagine he was doing the whole, like, he's, like, got the phone on the table, and he's, like, l not laying on his arm, but, like, practically laying on his arm and just, like, scrolling with his other hand. Like, it looks like he might be just falling asleep, but he's just intently mm -hmm. scrolling. And then, like, once he's done, he, like, looks up and it's like, oh, food. Yes, you have food now. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I think if his mom is not trying to, like, interact with him at all, like, he'll just keep, like, just reading some things as he's, like, eating mm -hmm. hard-boiled eggs with one hand. Great. That's not uh, weird. Absolutely. <laughs> No. I love it. And, you know, eventually your mom will come over and she'll smile and she'll just give you a little squeeze. And she says, remember to win today, love. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I always do my best. You <laughs> always like do. Nervous laugh. And, she's, and she squeezes your arm again. And she goes, and remember, you're never a disappointment to me. Thanks, Mom. He, <laughs> he says fairly unconfidently, and he uh, he kind of droops his head to, like, not look at her. And um, she will, uh, you, you haven't told your parents that you're dating Bridget yet, right? I think we established no. that last time. Yeah, he has no intention of telling them. Great. Um, and she'll walk over to, like, the little kitchenette, and she'll come back with a, a this green smoothie and, like, you know, like one of those containers you can take with you, uh, which I first suddenly forgot the name of. And, um, what a, this thing. A thermos? A thermos, yes, a cold thermos. And, um, uh, she'll be like, I mixed a lot of vegetables together like you like. Oh, yeah, thanks. That'll help. I guess. Yeah. And then she goes back to doing what she does. He'll, uh, he'll like, take a couple, like, he, he's, like, down to however many eggs he's mm -hmm. gotten at this point. Uh, he's not super hungry, but he's just kind of doing it, like, out of habit. <laughs> just kind of forcing himself to eat. Um, he'll uh, look at the clock He's not going to say much else to his parents. Um, he generally doesn't. But mm -hmm. he does want to leave a little earlier today because he has to go pick up Bridget. Cool. Love it. Um, great. I'm moving forward. I'm sorry. Bridget. Mm -hmm. Um... You wake up in the morning uh, to the sound of uh, one of your mother's screaming in uh, surprise and horror. What do you do? I sigh and slowly start to get ready. Great. It doesn't continue. It was like one long shriek mm -hmm. and then it stops. So. Great. I, yeah, you get I ready. Look. Yeah. I look stunning today. Of course you do. We, we established. Um, you wore your cheerleader outfit yesterday, but you're not going to yeah. keep so that Yeah, so now up. it's just normal clothing. Now it's normal clothing. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's, it's not every day. No, that would be ridiculous. That would be weird. Yes, we're not weird here. We just sacrifice rabbits in a gazebo. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> uh, great. So, um... 
you get you start getting ready, and uh, uh, like ten minutes into it, uh, mm -hmm. you are uh, you hear your mother knocking at the door. Actually, let's let's clarify which mother is it. It is. Uh, da, 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 da. It's Tara, um, okay. and you hear Tara in a very calm voice be like. She's the business one, or the she's the business one. Yes, keep okay. your parents straight. Um, you did, although they're not keeping straight. Hey, uh, um, because so, they're gay. Because they're gay. That's right. Welcome to Wrath Month. Anyway, uh, Tara knocks on your door, and she goes, "Come in." Oh, oh, okay. Um, and she she opens the door. She sort of like very cautiously lets herself in, and she says. Bridget, honey, everything's fine, but you might not want to come downstairs right away. Um, there was a little accident, and I can bring you up something. What happened? Well, I think um, we might have been the target of eco-terrorists. Oh. I don't, I don't want to disturb you, but your mother found a rabbit pinned to one of the columns in the living room with a knife. Ah. Oh. The police are on the way, and we'll just fill out the paperwork, and... And you're not going to say anything about middle school, well, no. right? No, oh, no, no, what? Brid, Brid, I mean, you, you got better. I mean, you didn't do this. This seemed of like a... Of course not. Right, good. I mean, this seemed like I a just threat make sure the police to us, so... Do the same thing. Right, no, no, we're not, you are not a suspect. Okay. We wouldn't call the police on our daughter. Goodness knows okay. I barely wanted to call them to begin with. Good. Great, great, so I'll bring you a parfait, um, and I can bring up a muffin, and then when you feel like it's time to come downstairs, just... You know, maybe just go straight for the door with your eyes closed. Okay. Great! I'm glad we had this chat. Have a great day! I will. Great, great. Um, oh, just one more thing. Um, your mother told me that you had kind of a rough day after school yesterday. Um... Just leave me alone, Mom. And I'm going to spend my string on her to make her leave me alone. Great! Leave a string on Tara. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bye. And she'll leave. Yay! Yay. So, um, uh, do you want to do anything special? Or do you want to just... Uh, I'm going to get ready. Yep. And I'm going to... When I'm ready, I'm going to head for the door. But I do want to take a glance at it and see if I can pick up anything. I don't know if I can gaze at the abyss that quick. Uh, no, I don't think you can gaze into the abyss that quickly, but you can get a good look at it so you can do whatever you need to do at a later time. Yeah. And do I it, recognize the knife? You do not. It looks like 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 very like combat-y. Like, it's not like a kitchen knife or anything like that, or a work knife. Is it the same rabbit I tore apart last night? Oh, no, 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 no. This rabbit is far more whole than the rabbit you huh. had. Okay. Yeah. I assumed that this was Chaser, Maris or Chaser Tabitha acting up. But I don't know. It could be. I, was, I, I mean, I do know. This is I a weird way to act up. There was already a dead rabbit, so... <laughs> hey, you know, you got weird friends. I don't judge. I do. I judge um, constantly. Yeah. And I'll walk out to... Wolf's car. I assume he's waiting for me by now. Wolf? Oh, yes. Very much waiting. <laughs> yes. Of course, he would never make you wait. Mm -hmm. I will say, today he's wearing... Um, he's got, like, 
the normal like t-shirt and flannel that not the normal but one of the many that i assume he owns um <laughs> but instead of like the vest or jacket over he has his like letterman jacket on from that i assume that he has i don't know sports <laughs> things yeah yeah your jackets, your far right? city swim team you got you can yeah. have a letterman jacket why not sweet yeah. you got a rep because it's tryouts today or yeah. whatever i mean chase has one so you get one too Say. I uh, I sit in the car and I'm at first I'm like, you smell like eggs. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry, I had eggs for breakfast. Oh, you you brought me your jacket. That's really sweet. He like he like hesitates for a minute and is like, yeah, totally. As he's like taking it off, he seems like not convinced, but he like hands it over. Is everything okay? Yeah, apparently someone broke into our house and stabbed a rabbit into our living room last night. And you see the cop car like casually pull in to the drive next to you at that point. Should we should we go before yes. it, before <laughs> And like Wolf like puts the car in reverse and like starts to head out. But as they're driving, Wolf is gonna ask Does it have to do with like that thing last night? I don't think so. <laughs> Speaking of that, that thing last night, like what was that all about? Oh, don't worry, your sweet little head bunny. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of. <laughs> I don't even know what expression he has on his face, but he does say, you know, I would think that's a cute nickname, but after seeing what you did <laughs> last night to that bunny, I'm not so sure anymore. Oh my gosh. You actually say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that. Oh, I can call you whatever I want. I guess. I mean. Remember, for something nice. you're the luckiest boy in school. And you're going to do your best at tryout today because I'm not dating someone who's not captain of the swim team. Yeah, I mean, that's just a given. But, you know, I'm just... I'm worried about you, Bridget. Like, that, that stuff last night, I thought you were... I thought you, like, you know... It was just a phase. You, like, went to therapy. And... I'm better than I've ever been, Wolf. I'm about to take control of this whole town. It's going to be mine. And you're going to be alongside me. Do you have to kill rabbits for it? There's going to be some sacrifices. Rabbit sacrifices? Maybe more. But it will be worth it. He does that like very slow nod and just says, Okay, I mean, I'm not super into like hurting people. Oh, me neither. All they have to do is fall in line. Okay, and I guess. I won't hurt anyone. That's good. You said that you wanted to destroy Karina and Donovan, though. Well, hopefully they'll realize before I have to and realize who has the real power in this town. Now, when you mean when you, when you say power, do you mean like social power? <laughs> You're so cute, bunny. <coughs> like, is there is there something more going on? Bridget, you know you can tell me, right? What are you afraid of? I think as he's driving, um his his body language kind of betrays how nervous he is right now mm -hmm. like he's kind of like 
doing that like leg jiggle mm-hmm. where he's like tapping his like finger on the steering wheel. I, you should um, probably roll cold then. Okay. Like keep your cool cold? Yeah, like keep your cool cold. Oh my god, Bridge is so scary. Eight. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um <laughs> This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. That's just, that's just what's going through Wolf's like mind right now. Like, <laughs> fine. Fine. We're gonna replace Ashley's face with a picture of the dog meme. Oh. Yeah. So, forever. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid. Yeah, I think you should be. Um, Wolf is very afraid. I am very afraid. This is fine. Here's your choice. You can um, keep your cool and just like keep driving to school. Um, and like, you know, act like Bridget's not the most horrifying person on the planet. Um, um, but if you do so, um, if you do so, I am going to give Bridget the XP she needs to level up. And she might get a move that makes things even worse. That sounds fun, though. Or the alternative is to sort of freak out in the moment and immediately pull the car over because you just can't fathom driving forward right now, um, in which case you have to deal with Bridget um, in the moment, um, but uh, Bridget uh, won't get the XP. In fact, I'll give you an XP uh, for, for, for putting your life in danger. Now, we're giving Bridget that XP. Okay, cool. Uh, That's way more fun. Funny. Cool. So you very, very like calmly and serenely um, keep driving. Um, any any little twitches easily overlooked. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, Bridget or uh, Wolf. Is there anything else you need to establish in the before you get to school? Can I yep. use my new move? Oh, yeah. Do you know what you want to take? Yes. Great. What do you want to take? I'm taking streaming. Oh, yes, cool. I thought you were going to take what, what is that? like, yes. What does that do? Tell the audience what that does. You have a telepathic connection with your gang members. You can always hear their emotions and fears. If you try to hear specific thoughts, gaze into the abyss about it and add one to your role. Cool. Um, so... Um, in giving um, uh, Bridget that, uh, that 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 little bit of psychic energy, um, uh, she, she honestly she knows your honest emotion right now. Wolf, what's your honest emotion right now? He is after his Google foo this morning. He is pretty scared. He thinks that he is. To be honest, he thinks that Bridget is getting into things that she doesn't understand. Like, from his outside point of view, like, he thinks that she's getting in way over her head. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's more than I'd be able to pick up. I think I'd just... Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's just, an, it's just an emotion. Yeah. 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 Great. But I'm going to try and find that out and run my fingers. Well, the back wait, of his don't, don't go forward okay. just yet. Okay. Because just like Ben Affleck trying to play Daredevil... Um, you're sort of hit with way too much sensory overload at the same time. Um, 
that movie made me nauseous. The direction was just awful. Anyway, um, because at the same time that you suddenly feel Wolf's fear, uh, you also feel uh, Chase's uh, excitement. Um, and you feel uh, Tabitha's mix of uh, pride and uh, nervousness. Um, and you feel um, uh, Marissa's uh, uh, Marissa's feeling the emotion pumped because uh, I don't have a better way to describe Marissa's emotions right now. So you can sort of get all of that at once. And Bex? Oh, right! And Bex! Thank you very much! I felt like I was forgetting something. Uh, Bex is feeling... Uh, Bex is feeling good. Like, um, like Matthew McConaughey good. Uh, just sort of like overly good. confident and like like and, and but also mellow. Do you have Advil or something? Oh yeah, I mean in my backpack. Kind of like <laughs> motions to the the back seat. Headache coming on or something. You all right? I I think so. Are you going to reach for the backpack and get the Advil? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, well, the only Advil that they keep in the Freeman house is maximum strength. Uh, so that's obviously okay. what you told. I couldn't resist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, great. Do you have Advil? Continue. All caps. Advil. Advil. Yeah, I take two of the horse pills. <laughs> And I go to drink some of uh, whatever is in Wolf's uh, thermos he put in the cup holder. Green yeah. liquid! <laughs> thing, and I Vegetable. gag. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, like fruits and Why vegetables. Why would you put this here? I'm, dr I'm drinking it. Ugh. <laughs> Good for you. I think. <laughs> Are you alright? I think so. Look, Bridget, I, you know, I, I You're know You're afraid, I said right? No. <laughs> he says very unconvincingly. <laughs> Good. Good. I just, you know, I want you to know if you're ever in trouble, like, you can come talk to me and I'll, I'll help you out. I'm not in trouble. I'm the opposite of trouble. Right. Of course, you got this. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> does not sound convincing. Right. <laughs> Do you still feel like stroking wolf hair, Bridget? Uh huh. Okay, cool. I, I think so. I think that um, she's going to kind of pull it together mm -hmm. and kind of realize what's happening. Yeah. And try to make a connection to get his emotions. Cool, cool. So you're going to, uh, I believe you have to roll dark, is the mm -hmm. one it says? Yeah. And I get to add one. Oh, lucky which you. Which gives me a zero. Ooh. Uh, that's a ten. Cool. Um, so I think because, um, why do you get to roll one? Why does it say? Does it uh, say it just why? says you add one to your roll. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, probably because they're, uh, you know, they're your gang and all that good stuff. Um, I would even go so far as say that you could probably add one because uh, Wolf is whipped. Um, not that it matters mechanically right now. If you try to hear specific thoughts, gaze into the abyss about it and add one to your role. Yes, it's not just dark. It's gaze into the abyss. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh, cool. So you get lucid visions about, um, Wolf's thoughts. That's fun. Um, so there's Wolf driving. Wolf, uh, please describe in more detail the thoughts going through your mind as you approach the school. 
I think first he's thinking of, you know, you get some some flashes of images from last night from like his point of view. Hmm. Like first with like, you know, you see Bridget's like silhouette like when she like first arrives with like the bunny in her arms and then you see yeah it was awesome (laughs) and you see um kind of as you're reaching for for his like forehead and you get this like the feelings like that he was feeling at the time like he was very scared Mm -hmm. um and you you get the image of when you when Bridget was was gazing into the abyss, like from Wolf's point of view, very confused. You, you get a couple s- snaps of when they were banging, like perfect, great, and then you get these other uh, images of what Wolf was researching this morning. So like you get like <laughs> you get a couple of the like really nasty like cold case animal control like pictures. Mm-hmm. of like the dead animals um and then i think like the final thing you get and you can like as you're looking into the the thoughts are the the very loose like information that he got about like the animal sacrifices and old gods because mm-hmm. and and you can tell i guess i don't know exactly how how deep but this is the connection he's making he's like mm-hmm. he thinks that you're getting into weird old god shit <laughs> Fun. Fun. What do you do with that, Bridget? I kind of smile. And I have plans on what we're going to say, like, as I'm, like, separating from him as we're walking in the class. Oh, cool. So, So, um... But I'll just be quiet and kind of, like, maybe I'll move my fingers and run it down his thigh a little bit. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, Who doesn't love that? So let's 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 cut away for a second. Uh, Corey, I have a, a, a question for you, Corey. Yes. How are you getting to school? Are you going to school? Uh I think he's gonna look at Donovan and be like, Are you going to school? Yeah, after I uh, fix up my teeth from someone hitting me. Yeah, well maybe you shouldn't just show your fangs to people. Yeah, good in, point. In an unsuspecting manner. But, I'm supposed to see a vampire and not freak out? Mm, you talk to out. some sort of other power, so I figured I had a shot. You lost. Um, uh, but yeah, I guess, can I? Sure. You drive, right? Yep. Drive me to school this morning. Also, I need shoes. What about your bike? He didn't drive the bike over. He drove his dad's car. Oh, well. What a dad's car. <laughs> yeah. But so I guess... You probably Donovan, assumed... I'm sorry, I was going to say. Yeah. You probably assumed he drove his bike, right? Like. Yeah, probably. So... I didn't drive the bike. Then your car? Can I put the car in your garage? Why? My dad doesn't deserve it back right now, and I don't want him to find it easily. And I... Don't want him or his family to have any right to go into my garage. So no. Maybe. No, just leave it parked outside your house. Whatever. Park it somewhere else. Mm. Park it up the street or whatever. Yeah, and it's probably best you approach on your own. You probably should. Well, I have some clothes you can wear, but I don't. Yeah, need I don't. Clothes. Just give me shoes. Sure, I can give you shoes. You don't have a shirt either. He doesn't want a shirt. Um. I have a question, uh, Donovan. Do you? So you, it sounds like you keep your car in a garage. Yeah. Do you lock the garage? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Um, t- Corey yeah. or 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 Kay, I think. Do you want Donovan's shoes to fit? Yes. Okay, then they do. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't think there's any like. Meh. It's all right. Yeah, there's no not getting what We don't need to think through that sort of thing. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Uh, Donovan, do you let Corey borrow some shoes? Yep. Awesome. So, Corey, when you go outside to move the car, um, you find that uh, the tires have been slashed. 
Can't move the car. Why? Tires have been slashed. I'm going to check the trunk and see if the booze is still all in there. In the trunk? Yeah, because the booze for Bridges Party is supposed to be in there. Did you lock the trunk? Yeah. It is still in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, tires have been slashed. Can't move them. Mm. You uh, might want to call that in? I mean, it'd be odd if you didn't report it. I guess. Yeah. <sighs> He's going to know where the car is. Owns the police. <sighs> He's just gonna like pick up the phone and report it in, like the non-emergency number. Great. You call the cops, and the cops are like, "Okay, uh, police officer will be over to take your reports." I have to go to school. Can't they just deal with it? No, that's not how this works. You have school to stay just there. Deal with it. Bye. <laughs> okay, great. You hang up on the police dispatcher. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Corey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that I really care about being late, but do you? Yeah, I'm going to show up. Um, at, well, well, uh, yes, I'm going to go on time. I try to just be there right when homeroom starts. Corey, you suck at asking for a ride. He asked for a ride. He I, said you're driving me. No. That's not. <laughs> That's quite Corey's mind. You're driving. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Donovan said. In Corey's mind, you're driving him. He expects you to drive him. Mm -hmm. He's going to go to the car expecting you to drive him. Oh, well. He thinks that's how this works. Donovan's going to go, like, take some, you know, pain relievers or whatever and fix up his mouth, like, fully and mm -hmm. take whatever time to kind of heal up. Yeah. Corey will take a shower and clean himself up a little, put on the same pants as yesterday, and borrowed shoes and the leather jacket, and that's Great. it. Cool. So, Donovan, Corey's still in your house when you go to leave for school. Yep, Don Donovan would wait until he's ready to go. Oh, okay, cool. Corey's gonna go to the passenger side. And oh. Get in. Well, Donovan would be, I guess, downstairs waiting for you. Oh, downstairs? Okay. Yep. Corey's gonna come over... And he's just like he's staring at Donovan. Like Donovan is just like this weird marvel. Like, what are you? Are you gonna walk? No, I'm, you're driving me. I'm not driving you to school. Yes, you are. No, I'm not driving you to school. I do not want to arrive with you. I can drop you off a distance away if that works for you. No, wait. Why can't you? Why can't you drive me to school? What does it matter? Because I don't want to arrive with you. Why? Association alone. You have a little bit of a reputation. You're just like Wolf. Why? Because you. you're this back and forth bullshit. I want to help you. I want to be there for you. I'm going to show you things. Because I then... won't give you a ride to school. I'll bring you a few blocks away. Fine. Great. So yeah, so I'm gonna lock up and drive Corey to you know three or four blocks away. He's not getting um, out of the car. Oh my Donovan, god. Donovan will pull over and say, "Here you go," and reach over and even open the door for you. No, I'm good. School's a couple blocks away. Get out of the car, please. Use hypnotism. Hypnotize him. Use a string, damn it. <laughs> Donovan glares at you. Drive to the damn school. If you want to be my friend and be helpful to me, because apparently that's what you want from me, which is whatever, then you should have no issue driving me to school. After my uh, tires got slashed your in front of your home. No, you're a friend. They bum rides off each other. I've seen it in movies. Hmm, let's see. So, so, Rob. Yeah. You, you do have 23 strings on Corey. <laughs> no, but then he gets XP. We don't want that. No, I'm just using. <laughs> I'm trying to think 
how Donovan really feels about it besides mm -hmm. worrying about the association. Yeah. So Donovan will kind of like turn his head a little and say, so how do you feel about being seen with me and me dropping you off? What would you say about that? I don't care. You don't, people will ask. People will remark. I spent the night at your place. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't like that. You will not say that. You can walk. And I'll spend a string. Do you accept the string? So I'm gonna accept the string. Good. <laughs> and again, he's gonna like go to step out of the car. And he's gonna look at you and he's like you're, and he's gonna just say, again, you're just like all of them. You want me when you want me. And then when you decide you don't, or it's not worth your association, you tell me to leave. This is way more complicated than that. I'd like to roll cold. Okay, go for it. A, a purple cursor, you can go ahead and adjust that number. Go for it. Will do. Can I say he's acting like a brat? I feel like he's embodying being a brat. I think you are acting like a brat, yeah. Cool. That's a seven. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, well, you choose round from below, but you come across poorly. So you, you know you're just getting that condition right back, you brat. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you want to kill one of uh, Donovan's strings? Do you want to slap Donovan with a condition? What do you want to do? Um, yeah, let's, let's kill another one of... Uh, hmm, no. Let's slap Donovan with a condition. Yeah, what kind of condition should we give Donovan? Stop time. What? Uh, yeah, he hasn't had it yet. About time. No, I, uh, I've had one. <laughs> yeah, you cleared it. That's all. Corey right. gave me one. Right. It can be guilty. It can be puppy kicker. It can be. Uh, <laughs> um. Mixed signal. No, it's, it's, it's good. that's not like a good emotional weight to have in the back that's of your right. head. Yeah, we've had that discussion. Yeah. Um, it's like teas or hot and cold. Hot and cold works, or confusing. Um, well, confusing to you, but he's not. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. Um, it's gonna be like, how? Do, what is? What is this? This reaction that you gave? How does that make him feel? Oh, um, fair weather friend. Because, because basically, what Corey is, is is getting at, or how Corey feels through all of this, is it feels like to him that Donovan is very like back and forth about what he wants to give to Corey. He's like, I'm going to support you and I'm here for you and I'm going to help you out with all this. Mm -hmm. But then um, and, and this is in Corey's mind. I'm not saying this is correct or yeah. not. Um, and then he's like, but you're not giving me what I think I want and you're, you're making me feel bad about myself. And like, that's not what a friend should do. Okay, so let's put some friendship thoughts in a Donovan's head. Let's, let's be artistic. And give Donovan the uh, the condition we took away from Wolf. Let's give Donovan bad friend. Bad and friend. See how Donovan plays with the same condition. Mm. Is that cool? Yeah, no, go, go for it. Bad friend. I can't spell. Keys go in order. Here we go. All right. Um, Donovan, are you gonna pull away? Donovan would sigh and like bring the window down mm -hmm. on the passenger side fine then get in <laughs> donovan would lock the door <laughs> Corey, do you attempt to get in the car oh yeah Corey's gonna climb in through the window he has no issues with this Corey starts climbing in through the window what do you do donovan i let him great great love it um do you uh, wait for him to be settled before pulling towards the school, or maybe when he's like climbing back up awkwardly, adjusting himself? Mm -hmm. 
And Donovan would say, do you like it when people make you jump through hoops and windows in order to get, you know, make you happy? Is that it's what I have to do? It's crawling through windows and cars. <sighs> Donovan would drive off and head to school. Great. Awesome. Um, He's so pleased. By the way, don't I get a condition? You got a condition. No, you didn't get your condition. You're right. I have to give one to you. Yes, yeah, we have to give one back. back. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I I, see, it. based on what I just said... Um, uh, puppet trained. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know that you you made someone feel like a puppet. Okay. Um. I mean, you probably made him feel guilty. You probably made him. Yeah. Uh, uh, childish, demanding. Yeah, those are good. Uh, Manipulative. Chat says conditioned. 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 Oh. Conditioned. Like yeah. He's trained, kind like of. He's conditioned. trained, kind of. Yeah. I don't know that he is though, and I don't know that you're no. you're making him feel that way. Sorry, chat. I like your suggestions. I don't like that uh, one. Get out. You're fired. Come back next week with better ideas. That was mean. I'm sorry. That was mean. Yeah. Brian now has a condition. Brian now. Mean. Yeah. Brian now has, <laughs> Brian a, condition now has a condition mean. mean. Come across poorly and just shut someone down. Yeah, what uh, was so? I guess I'm, what was I'm what struggling. was Rob's not what Rob's? What was what was Donovan's uh, like intention? Yeah, what of, was like, Donovan's point saying that? Making him to do across? that. That he has to like go through special maneuvers in order to stay in good graces with the people he wants things from, like. He has to do tasks, just like Castile or his family, like, just expects him to. Oh, so you weren't, like, trying to say, like, oh, this is what you make other people do. You are you were like, oh, no, you have to work for a friendship? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't... Or he's a bad friend. <laughs> Everyone's just bad, bad friends. friends. We're all uh, bad friends. He's a wonderful friend. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe like is the best um, difficult. Um, it, it maybe it could be like uh, still learning or um, untrained. Untrained. Untrained <laughs> might be good one? actually. Um, it, it could uh, even I'm be struggling. like. What about? Uh, all right, I like this one. All right, you don't have to like it, but I like it. And we we'll put it in quotes. Is this how I friend people? Oh, or, or, I like that. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's fun. Is this fun. how I do friend? Am I a car? How, how friend works. How, is yeah. this how friend works? I like that. We'll do, we're gonna, let's good. do that. All right, Corey, like you get, is this how friend works? You're uh, getting that one, Brian. I'm not doing it. Okay, that. you got it. I saw your cursor ready, but I'm more than happy to write it down. I don't know exactly how you want this done, so I'm going to let you do it. Is this how friend works? <laughs> It's a, it's a great and, condition. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, great. <laughs> and as they're approaching the school, Donovan would say, don't mention you stayed over my house, or at least if you have to, that uh, nothing happened, please. Friends, not whatever you call all the people that go to your orgies. I mean, are you are you really, like, you know, and he, like, pulls, like, the leather jacket aside to show off the abs. And he's like, why are you so opposed to this? I'm very hot. Because you need someone that doesn't want something from you. What do you, uh, oh, this is great. He's going to smile because this is such a good opportunity. He's going to look at you. What do you want from me? Wait. Nothing. So then aren't you exactly what I need? Hot. I don't know that that's hot. D Donovan, do you think you might find that hot? Saying that someone, you're exactly what someone needs? Yeah, I don't know. It's, mm. It was a little awkward. It was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, if anything, I would be feeling like Donovan's. Donovan just kind of shakes. I'm trying here. Like, or give same. me a break. Give me a break. You're very confusing. You're like, you don't need someone. 
who you need someone who doesn't want something from you and you and then i'm like well what do you want from me and you're like nothing we should really focus on this like dangerous thing your family has going on we, for you y'all are totally like in the parking lot now yeah so <laughs> donovan would park and get out and just say let's let's enjoy class it's very important to me he would say again. <laughs> god damn it where he like sighs opens the door like slams it gets out hey I'll pay to fix it. It's a door. That's your family's money. Don't use it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut away. We're gonna cut away from the the old couple banter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, a Krina. Krina, what do you do when you're on the bus? How do you kill time? Are you just are you just chatty like everybody? Get, oh, let's let's talk about everything that I can talk about. What does Karina do on bus? Uh, yeah, probably a lot of chatting and also like a lot of um, being on her phone as well. Great. It's probably a little bit awkward because like Karina's also probably one of the oldest people on the bus. Yeah. Like, there aren't too many upperclassmen that ride the bus. Uh, so you see your note to yourself. All right. <laughs> that was not a dream. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Okay, cool. Uh, but otherwise, you have a relatively normal bus ride. Uh, and when the uh, I'll probably like Google like Zeus to like yeah, and some of the myths or whatever. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of information on the internet about Zeus. There's so much. Uh, yeah, I'll probably read it until somebody I like to talk to gets on the bus, and then I'll like immediately put the phone away and start talking to them. Yeah, it's it's a great bus ride. It's it's fantastic, and um, uh, it, you as you pull up. Um, that's when um, Bridget and Wolf are walking into school. Um, so I think, uh, Bridget, you wanted to say something to Wolf as you were heading towards mm -hmm. class, didn't you? Yeah. I'm going to say, Wolf, I'm going to go catch up with uh, Tabitha. But, buddy, let me make something absolutely clear. I'm not worshipping some old god. I'm being worshipped. And I'm going to kiss him. Oh, That's... I think he's a little surprised. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he doesn't like really kiss back right away. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because you know what you just said was surprising. Mm -hmm. um, like I was reading your mind or something. Yeah, and he's like, as as he as he pulls away, he just says, "That's good to know." anything like why'd you bring that up I could just tell something was on your mind and I wanted to put you at ease buddy yeah that was very specific though you go talk to Bex and have a good morning and get yourself all psyched up for swim practice okay just uh be careful out there I'm always careful. I think he'll like lean in to like give you a kiss on the cheek before you like mm -hmm. before you go off. Yeah, I'll let you. <laughs> uh, but I think Wolf is gonna wait outside of the room, outside of the classroom. Okay, cool. Um, what do you, you want to go talk to Tabitha? Yeah, I'm just gonna go check in with Tabitha and see if she saw anything as she was leaving. Cool. Uh, so Tabitha... Um, yeah, Tabitha... Chase has got to pick Tabitha up, and Wolf is definitely more punctual than Chase is. So you, you, you know, wait at Tabitha's locker, and a few minutes later, there she is. And she goes, oh, hi, Bridget, good morning! Good morning, Tabitha. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you're in a good mood this morning. Oh, she goes, I am in a great mood. I am so happy. Listen, we've got a busy day ahead of us. Yeah! We need to see if Marissa is still in the fold. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, um, I can do that. I can do that. And did you see anything weird as you were leaving last night? No. No. Around the house? 
No. Okay. Did you? Apparently, <laughs> apparently, somebody staked a bunny to one of our interior columns. Well, that's really weird. Do you think yeah. Wolf did that? I don't think so. Well, who else would do that? Maria do you think was Krina. Marissa? Oh, Krina. She doesn't seem like a bunny killing person to me. She seems like like one of those people that would like pet it like there's, maybe a little too much. There's something off about her. I can't put my finger on it. I I had a plan. Uh, oh. Yeah, because you know, you, last night you were like, "Take care of him." So, I, I the plan I came up with is I have English class with uh, Krina towards the end of the day, and I thought that I would uh, get Bex to not go to their class uh, at the same time, and then I would uh, go up to Krina and be like flirty. Because she pretty much flirts with everybody, which is kind of great, you know? And mm -hmm. then uh, we would go to, like, like the upstairs area, and I would lock her in a locker with Bex. Sounds good. Yeah, and then she'd be stuck in a locker, and, like, nobody goes up there, so I don't know. Maybe she would just die until, or we could let her out the next day, you know, depending on... How long we wanted to leave her there? We'll think about how long we're going to leave her there, but I like that plan. Yes, yeah, thank you. It. You're being a very good follower, Tabitha. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, first, check on Marissa. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I will. I will text her. Okay. Um, and I think Chase will stroll up because now he's back from his locker and be like, "Hey." Uh, babes? What you talking about? Someone's mic is doing something weird. Okay, sorry. Um, it was very distracting. Uh, just about our plans for the day. Cool, cool. Uh, just so you know, I totally got Donovan, like, sick this morning. What did you do? I slashed his tires! <laughs> Good. Um, see if you can figure out... I, I, I don't see how that's helping us advance our goals, but... Oh, I thought we were like just trying to make his life bad right now. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I could break his arm later. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll work on that. Or, or like, hit on him, see if that works. Yeah, okay, yeah, I could do that. Um, I hit on him, and then break his arm. Right, that order. Yeah, that's a good order. But otherwise, it would get kind of weird, you know? Cool. You, Chase. You're, yeah, it... it, it Anything for you, babes? Because you're both my babe now. Sort of. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> make sure Bex is in on the plans. Oh, yeah. Um... I don't, I don't want them to feel left out. No, 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 no. He can help me hit on Donovan. Yeah, maybe Bex would be able to work. Yeah, like I'm uh, not sure what Donovan's tastes are, but eventually we'll offer him someone that will work. Cool. Um, maybe we, we could break both of his arms, <laughs> like like a bonding thing, you know, like maybe. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I'll talk. I'll talk to him about it. We'll figure it out. I'll see you in class. Yeah, homeroom. Oh, we should go then. Let's go, babe. Not you, babe, but you, babe. And they leave to the homeroom. And they see Wolf waiting outside the homeroom. And they're like, hey, Wolf. Uh, 
How was sex last night? I mean, great. Yeah, she's great, rigid. isn't it? She's fantastic at it. Like, Tabitha, no, like, nothing down on you. Like, you're very good as well. It's not like, but Bridget's, like, really good. Tabitha, I bet you're really good at it, too. Don't let... Tabitha's like, oh, thank you. Well, that's sweet. I know I'm not as good at it as Bridget is, though. Are they just discussing this right in front of the homeroom? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And, and Wolf is like, he's got that, like, weirded out. Because he's still got that, like, weird <laughs> ambivalence towards Chase. He doesn't want to hear what his girlfriend banged before dating him. Karina, if you want, uh, you can hear this whole thing, since you you don't try to be at school late. Well, the bus gets me there early enough where I can't be late. <laughs> right. You could, you could, like, literally be sitting in the classroom right now listening to this conversation that's happening right outside of it. Does that sound like uh, fun? Actually. Uh-oh. You have plans have, before homeroom, don't you? I am keeping both eyes out for Corey. Oh, like, like, okay. At, at a door, at a locker, like wherever. Never mind then. You're not part of this this Corey, sex capade. Both eyes yeah. out for him. Corey will have heard this though, as he's like coming to the class. No, you like, unfortunately will not have heard it because oh, okay. Donovan tries to get there right before the bell rings, and you were in the Donovan mobile, and you slowed Donovan down this morning. That's fair. That's fair. I meant to ask, can I clear my harm for healing up while he was showering and everything? Uh, I don't know. What, because nope. what, you, like, checked on your teeth? Do you think that's good enough to heal your harm? Cleaned up? I don't know. I took the time. No, no. Okay. Uh -uh. You got to do something better than that. Come on, this is a serious game. This isn't, like, D&D. &D. All right. Um, Can't just sleep it off. No, no. Um, wait, sexcapades. Go. Wolf. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just, like, put a hand on Tabitha's shoulders and just be, like, like, just one hand, like, reassuringly, mm -hmm. like, give a squeeze and be, like, look, you gotta be confident in yourself. I'm sure you're great, too. Oh. Flash is, like, a charming smile at her. Yeah, and she'll give you a kiss on the cheek. Oh. Chase is, Chase is right there, you know. Chase is like, yeah, I am. And then they go into the classroom. Oh, okay then. By the way, in case it wasn't clear, Wolf is waiting for Donovan. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were waiting for Bridget. Okay, never no, mind. No, I'm waiting for Donovan. Cool, so this is extra fun. So, Bridget, <laughs> you didn't uh, walk back with your gang. Is that because you wanted to do yet another thing before homework? No, I'm headed back. I just didn't want to walk back with them. Okay, cool. So you head back. I take some time in my locker, adjust myself in my mirror. Yeah. So, so yeah, you head back, and there's Wolf standing in front of homeroom. Hey, hey Bunny, what you up to? I'm just waiting for Donovan. Oh, taking some initiative. Well, yeah, I remember, like, he was there at cheer practice yesterday? And we're going to destroy him. I whisper in his ear. Yeah, I wanted to ask him about what he saw. I don't see how that will help. Don't you want to know what happened? I want him taken care of. Him and Krina are working together. They are? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is all news to Wolf. I yeah, saw it in my vision. Your vision? Obviously. <laughs> Wolf is very confused. Don't. Actually. you want to sleep with Donovan, you could. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna walk in. <laughs> yeah, Wolf just has that dumbfounded look on his face. He was gonna say some mixture of like, <laughs> of like, Donovan, what if he doesn't want to? Like, what if I'm not his type? But also like, don't you wanna be like with me? Like, he doesn't understand this whole like sleeping with other people while you're dating someone thing you'll figure it out 
<laughs> yeah. So, but but Bridget walks away before he yeah. can formulate any words. So I love it. It's great. You know, and ever other people like head into homeroom. Like you see Marissa, and she's like says good morning to you, Wolf, and um, like right as the bell rings, Karina, you're like hanging out nearish the front doors of the school. Um, you see uh, Corey and Donovan come in like together. Uh, I think what will happen is, like, is, like, so I assume they're, like, glass doors, because, like, every school I've ever been in is, like, glass doors. Yes, there are only glass doors allowed yeah. in schools. <laughs> um, and I think when she looks out in the parking lot and sees, um, Corey and Donovan, like, walking up, mm -hmm. like, she kind of, like, kind of, like, registers that Donovan is there. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, she's focusing on, on Corey. Mm -hmm. And I probably will, like, go out the door and just like very determined like kind of like scary the amount of focus awesome so you're, you're once you like, see him you're not so waiting striding, you boom know, the parking lot to him so Corey, you see Krina a uh, power walking towards you what do you do intense focus <laughs> he looks at Donovan see some people are excited to see me in the morning <laughs> yeah I guess I'm just a bad friend and Donovan will keep walking yep and Corey will stop and let Karina come to him. Great. Um, yeah, you, Donovan, as you pass Karina, you can see, like, like it is kind of like a scary, intense amount of focus on her face. Just, like, like not glaring daggers, because there's no, like, malicious, but it is, like, it's not benevolent attention either. It's not, I'm happy to see you kind of attention. Yeah, uh, Donovan would side glance and be like, we need to talk, but you all right? That doesn't even like pay attention. It doesn't make no motion whatsoever that she's even heard or seen or noticed you in any way. Wow, walks right by you, rude. Yeah. So Donovan would can't focus. Keep walking, but like turn to kind of like watch her approach to Corey to make sure she's not like <laughs> jumping him or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But he'd yeah. keep going. Yeah. Um. When when I get up to Corey, I would, like put a hand against Jeff and like shove him like not not like shove but like very forcefully like pinning him against whatever car is nearest cool public car uh, sex dope no just like stare right into like Corey's eyes oh just to clarify like, i think Corey just said that out loud oh yeah yeah okay totally not even all right great right <laughs> like not even no when your hand is on his, his bare chest and he's in a leather yeah. jacket and you're pushing him against the car he's pushing like, him against the car like, yeah like harder than necessary but not hard enough to hurt um, and it just, like, really, like, stare, like, deeply into your eyes, and, like, there's something, like, dark behind Karina's eyes, um, and when you look, her eyes aren't a light color anymore, like, normally there's some kind of color, might be blue or green or gray or something, but, like, they're a lot darker than they are normally, and she just looks at you and says in this voice that has like, this weird quality to it, sounds kind of a little too echoey considering you're outside, says, you owe me an answer. To what? I was naked with you, and I asked you for something, and you didn't answer. You owe me an answer. Repeat the question. Tell me everything you know about Castile. Promise me you'll tell me everything you know about Castile. Okay, fine. I'll tell you everything you want to know about Castile. He's an asshole. Thank you. He's the absolute worst. Like, as soon as you say that, I promise you, like, everything just, like, melts away. <laughs> like, it's just, like, happy creep, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so she's happy. Do you want to keep going after he's the absolute worst? Yeah, I think he's like, just like, yeah. he's the absolute worst. I'm supposed to be his avatar, and he's supposed to think, but I'm done with him now. Mm -hmm. How are you done with him? I told him I'm done with him. Locked his and number. That's it. That's that's all it takes. As far as I know. Yep, I'm done I with mean, him. I mean, like you could still hear his voice in your head, even if you block his number. Like he could still talk to you. I don't think so. <laughs> Do you know Science. what Castile is? He's the deity that's my attached to my. He's my familial deity. So you know he's a god. Yes. Do you know what I mean, god he's he is? A, a power, god, of power. I don't know. What makes something a god? Like there's a power, or I don't know. 
I'm not here for philosophy. You're pushing me against a car. Are we having sex or not? Oh, uh, so I was like, let go. <laughs> I mean, we can. It wasn't like my intent, but like, hey, like, you're a really good lay. I'm like, never opposed to that. Um, no, I've had a really shitty night and day. Do you want to go have sex and skip for, like first period homework? Um, sure. <laughs> He's gonna just take Grant's hand and like walk her to the third floor. Great, super. Uh, you can mark experience for making me a promise. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put a pin in the sex part. Um, and we're gonna do the uh, Donovan. Uh, a uh, wolf conversation, Donovan. Uh, there's wolf is standing outside the door, even though the bell has rang. Actually, wolf, when the bell rings, are you still gonna stay outside the door? He's gonna do that thing where he like he stands like literally right outside the open door. Mm -hmm. So like if uh, Mick Thunderbird like starts doing attendance or whatever, he can be like here <laughs> and then like continue waiting outside. Great, great. Let's do that real quick because it's gonna take. Um, uh, Donovan, at least a minute to uh, get to you. So yeah, like Mix Thunderbird uh, does he start doing uh, attendance, and when you jump in and go there and jump back, uh, they will kind of like like look towards you and be like, "Wolf, you have to be inside the homeroom." He takes like one step, so he's like just inside the door. Actually, you know what? Even better. He goes and sits in Donovan's seat. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Um, and, uh, awesome. So, Donovan, you get there, you know, like, like right as, uh, uh, Mick Thunderbird is finishing, uh, Homeroom. And, uh, that's, I think, where we'll, we'll end it, so we can start with Homeroom next time. Nice. Um, and we will, um, make a note, uh, hey, Brian, if you're listening to this, don't forget about sex moves next time, okay? Good job, Brian. I want to thank everybody for joining us. Hey, you want to hear some announcements real quick before you go? Don't go yet. I'm going to give you the schedule. Like, everyone loves it because it's like, oh, I do the same thing every week. It's nice and familiar, you know? All right, so, Tuesday, it's a regular... GG stream. I don't really know what that means. I think it's like a video game or something. In all honesty, I'm sorry. That was a bad plug. Wednesday is World Tuesday. Our talking thing. Oh, it's they the talking like, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, okay. they talk on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are for talking, Thursdays are for games. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Wednesday is Worlds and Crafts. Friday is the start of Onyx Path Con, and they're going to run actual plays starting on a Friday through the weekend. Hey, if you uh, head over to the uh, Gehenna uh, website, you know, you can actually uh, sign up for some of those things. And you can see, like, the streaming schedule for this weekend. It's really cool. Um, I'd like to uh, encourage you all to do that. This is a thing you should do. What else? Is that good? I think that's it. Vote, vote in my food poll. Very important food poll. Um, and all right, everyone, say bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Bye, bye. Oh wait, look. There's a link to the to the directly to the convention. Con. Great yeah. job. Great job linking people. All right, for real. Bye. 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 bye.